Hey guys, it's Carla V here again, Wednesday, 6, eh, 6.07 p.m. We're here. Um, we got a lot to talk about today. We're going to get it all covered. Again, I'll have a wrap-up song at the end of the show that we've been doing lately. Um, today, I'm really excited. One of my closest friends in the comedy scene, like a brother to me, is here, and it's been a long time coming. And with him, we're going to talk about film school, living in Australia, China, roast battles, uh, writing, birthdays, so much more. Uh, welcome. Um, to the show, Robert Eister. Oh, thanks, Carla. I'm <laughs> super jazzed to be here. I'm super jazzed you're here, man. I feel like Miles Davis in the house. Um, <laughs> thank you so much, dude. It has cheers. It's been like, you know, the length of the podcast. I'm like, you're going to come on again. We kept putting off, and then they were scheduling things and whatever life, but I'm glad you're here, man. I think it's better this way, you know? It's better. If, you, if I had gone, like, right away, I don't think I would have appreciated it as much. And it's like your birthday yeah, show. Yeah, this is like waiting to lose my virginity. Yes, exactly. I put a lot of time, but it's happening for me now, and I'm so excited. Waiting to lose your virginity, you're going to wait about 30 more seconds. Let's go to the intro song, and then we'll start the combo. Larry, take it away. Carla's got a podcast now. She doesn't know technology. Larry's pushing buttons and recording things for you to see every week. She'll be asking guests questions. She'll be saying a lot. She'll be wondering about the world. It's time now for Carla V. Things out. Loud. We are officially here. We are officially here, ready to get into things, and I'm queer. Um, you know, just have to throw that out there because Larry likes it so much when you just throw it out there right at the beginning. Um, but yeah, Robert, what is going on? You were a freshly turned birthday boy. Yeah, no, it's a uh, first day of being 32. How does officially. it feel? Kind of the same as 31. Right? Yeah. You know? It's like 31 through 35 are like the same. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing big's happening. Mm -hmm. You're just going through the 30s, no. but it's fun. Did you have any like birthday things that you did yesterday? I mean, I saw you last night. Yeah. I just went to like Mike's. Yeah. You went to Juno. For a while, we were talking yeah. about like going bowling oh, with that would people, be fun. but yeah. it just seemed like a lot. <laughs> right? You get to that age at that point, it's like, I just want to chill, guys. I yeah. just want to do nothing with I don't want to have to make plans yeah. and then, like, reach out to people. Yeah. Don't want to move your arm too much. And you're and disappointed, like, if not enough people show up to your not bowling enough. party. That's why I'm scared of arranging anything yeah. birthday-related, because I'm afraid nobody's going to show up to what my party. What if I requested, like, you know? two lanes at Silva, and then we don't have enough for one team? Do exactly. Just an empty lane <laughs> there. Just a... That would be so sad. What yeah. if you lose at bowling on your birthday? You know, there's, like... Some sad stuff that could go down. Yeah. Are you a good bowler, though? I'm a pretty good bowler. You seem I, like a precision-y person. Oh, I used to bowl every week for really? a long time in my life. Were yeah. you in a league? Yeah. Really? I was in multiple leagues. Does I was in a traveling the jacket league. No. <laughs> for you that are just listening, he's wearing this amazing, like, what do you even call this kind of jacket? It's a, kind of a track know. jacket. I think so, It's a track yeah. jacket, but it's, like, satiny and gold. With some red piping and some black, it's amazing. You always have jack fun jackets. So you I, gotta have a fun this. jacket. So anyway, you were in bowling. Yeah. For how long? God, from the time I was seven till I was probably like fifteen. Damn. So you're good. Bowled good. a lot. Have you ever bowled three hundred? No. Not uh, like that good. Decent good. Yeah. Oh, we'll have to bowl sometime. Well, happy birthday. Do you have any like New Year re resolutions for? Thir I don't know. Thir like, do you, uh, yeah, I always think my New Year is on my birthday. Mm -hmm. I don't care about the New Year's resolutions. I think about my birthday. <laughs> my year. Yeah. But uh, nothing. I mean, I guess I just, you know, try to keep doing the comedy thing. The comedy Make thing. Make more, get, you know, shows Let's and get stuff. into the comedy thing. Yes. I, uh, for those of you that know and don't know Robert, uh, people might agree, and I say this in the highest regards, is Robert is, how do you say, you're like a stealth fighter jet of comedy where it's like you pop up and do some badass shit, and then we're like, where is he? Why isn't he in all the shows? Now you're booking a lot of shows, but you are somebody that everybody looks up to because you have amazing just comedy brain, and you can write a quick joke, just like perfect structure, and it's hilarious. Thank you. Um, so when did you actually start? Start? Oh, I mean, I started like doing it seriously when I moved here, which was about four years ago. Mm -hmm. But I did it a couple of times, like middle school and high school growing up. So I had a friend who really wanted to be Dane Cook. 
It was like Dane Cook was that super was big era, at the time. Yeah. <laughs> so he like put on shows and would do his like Dane Cook thing, but he needed people to open for him. Oh, so where just, would you open? One time we did one at my like high school auditorium. Where did he go to high school? Which again? was cool in Lakewood, Colorado. It's like right outside Denver. And so how did that go? These open mics at the high school? It went, I mean, that went pretty good. Did you feel like you were funny? Yeah, although the one guy was like way funnier than me, but then years later I realized it was just all Dimitri Martin jokes. Right. That was. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was, it was pretty funny, good. but really popular at the time. So it was like you were opening up for Dane Cook and Dimitri Martin when they were children. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> like if you shrunk them down. And... Did you want to do comedy prior to this, or were you just like, hey, I guess I'll try it because he needs somebody? I mean, not really. No, I just kind of tried it out then. I mean, I was into stand up guys. Yeah, you loved stand up, but... but then. Yeah, it was just kind of, that's why I first did it. And then when I moved here, I just didn't know anyone in Albuquerque. Yeah. So I was like, I'll just go to an open mic. And well, it was a, you know, cool If time. I'm not wrong, didn't you do some comedy in Austin when you were there? I did, but I used to get way too drunk. Okay. And then I would, like, just forget all of my stuff mm -hmm. or, like, heckle people and just be an <laughs> absolute menace. You would talk to me? Because so... you're not one that does too much crowd work. Yeah. I can't imagine you, like, heckling the crowd. Oh, one time I got, a, it was an open mic at a donut shop <laughs> called Gordo's. Uh, which is they do, like, donuts? donuts on everything. You can they were literally calling burger. the store fat. Like, you're just going to yeah. get fat. Come buy our donuts. No, it's a disgusting just <laughs> restaurant in general. Like open it's mic? It's delicious, but there was an open mic. And I was, they were already mad at me because I kept smoking weed on the indoor patio. Oh, right. And they were explicitly telling me not to do oh, that. Yeah. And then I blacked out, and I guess I, like, heckled a bunch of people. And then when I got on stage, I finally, like, I wasn't in a blackout anymore. But I also didn't remember any jokes. Mm -hmm. And it was just a room of people that were real mad at me. Oh, that's no. Awesome. But it was, yeah, it was a fun time. So. <laughs> so that's why you don't talk to audiences anymore. Yeah. It's like, I did my thing there. I just don't want to do it. But... So, like, I went to open mics in Austin, mm -hmm. but I don't think I ever... You did comedy right. at any of them. You were just getting on stage and doing something. And yeah. then you moved here four-ish years. How long ago was it? It was four years in November. Yeah, I think we... Around the same time. I think I'll be five years this year. Yeah. Dang, it's going by fast. Whoa. I haven't lived anywhere that long, like, in forever. Um, do you... So what brought you here and, like, why Albuquerque? Why... Uh, so I moved from Australia to Bent, New Mexico with my parents. Yeah. So yeah. That's what I was going to tell you about Australia and the thing. Yeah. I got, I got like, kind of kicked out of Australia. In a way. Like, not by the government. Wait, what? Not officially. Like, I can go back to okay. Australia. Like, uh, like the locals fucking yeah. came and with pitchforks and fucking boomerangs and yeah. get out of our fucking yeah. the aboriginals yeah. <laughs> with a didgeridoo yeah, with a didgeridoo get the fuck out of here <laughs> <laughs> nah not quite that night that, like, boomerangs like, and torches running with boomerangs several torches <laughs> <laughs> crocodile Dundee just like showing me progressively larger knives oh that's yeah. a big knife hey the larger knife there's an army of He's giant spiders yeah <laughs> Army of giant spiders just carried you. The whole off. country is terrifying. <laughs> Dude, that's why I couldn't go. Okay, so you moved to Ben, but let's stop on Australia for a minute. Yeah. You were there, your sister lives there, am I correct? Yeah, my sister's lived there for like seven years. And that's why you went. I went to go au pair for her and her kid. Uh, no, but nanny. that's also why I got kicked out. He means nanny, for yeah. those of you that don't know what au pair means. I was an au pair. So he was a nanny for. Was au pair. French version, right? Mm hmm. <laughs> Okay. It makes it sound it. sexy, and maybe that's why everybody fucks their like babysitters. Um, anyway, I mean, yeah, no shit. Like, oh, pair does sound like. Yeah. Did your she sister fuck, fuck you? No, I mean <laughs> emotionally, maybe. God, um, emotionally. <laughs> that's why you had to leave. Okay, so you went to what, what city? So she lived outside of Brisbane. Brisbane. But she lived in a really, really small like town in Australia, Howard, mm. Australia, which there's like n really nothing going on. We got snowy in the house. That snowy. Snowballs here. There's also so, a lot of like small town Australia is yeah, a lot just there? like small town Florida almost. I like there's a lot it, of meth, a lot of fucking like bullets. South. Yeah. It feels like Ozarks if it's it was like a small very town similar. in Australia. The show. And um real quick, were the animals there terrifying? Like the spiders and beetles and things? Yeah. Are they Aren't they huge? Spiders? Aren't those things like 
8 to t- 12 inches. Huntsman spiders can be the size of a dinner plate. Ah! And they scuttle. Can you look like one up for me, please? A huntsman fi- spider. I was in Japan, and oh, they yeah. have some really big fucking spiders. And I was in a Little League tournament, and it's customary for them, for you to stay at their place and for them to stay at, you know, your parents' place kind of thing, like mm-hmm. a switch off. Sexy. Like, yeah, child swap. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and and I was lay- I was laying, because they sleep on the floor, and it was late at night, and I'm looking up at the corner, there's this huge spider in the corner, I told the dude, I was like, you need to get that fucking thing out of here, and he's like, no, it's fine, it's fine, I guess they eat the bugs and shit, so. Oh, interesting. But it's a huge, giant. They're I like mean, the daddy long legs. Daddy long legs and, and hairy. Like, That's yeah. why I could not go to Australia, because it's not that I have, like, even that big a fear of, like, spiders and things, I just... They're called? scary. They're creepy. The huntsman spiders. Huntsman spiders. Yeah. Um, and another tangent. Tangent. I remember where we're going back to. Don't worry, guys. Uh, have you heard of these spiders that can be raining down in the south of, oh of God, the U.S.? Terrible. These like big ass spiders. My sister lives in Georgia, and already when I go there, I'm like, "What is that bug? What is that? Why is it so humid? Why does everything feel weird?" And I feel it. Like it's gonna hot. be raining spiders. Yeah, they somehow have been caught up. In the wind and the clouds somehow, and are now starting to rain down. They're from like Asia or something, and they're like this big, and they kind of look like, um, kind of look like a, what are they called? The black widows, but they have like yellow on them. No, they're like black widow that size would be or big, as fuck bigger, but they're raining spiders. They're starting to rain spiders. It's Dude, all... they have those up in Washington, so and those things are. This is a huntsman. Nuts. Oh yeah. Right? It looks like a crab, a spider and a crab had a baby. One time I was driving Have in Australia. I was driving one time and I saw one <gasps> peek down through the windshield. Mm-mm. And then all of a sudden it started crawling in my passenger side. No. Like no I'm not a fan of And spiders. I just stopped the car. I pulled over, grabbed whatever I could and started beating that thing. I, but that, they, it was, <laughs> they're terrified. That sounds like the movie The Mist. Is that the one? With yeah. all those big ass yeah. things? Yeah. Fuck that shit. I could not. I had one thing. Did I tell you guys my rattlesnake story? I did, right? Where my truck, so. it came. I was driving the truck I have now, but I was driving. It was in Carlsbad, between Carlsbad and Guadalupe. But anyway, driving an hour, and the rattlesnake starts peeking its head between the hood of my car and my engine over my windshield. And I'm driving an hour, and it just starts slithering and goes the whole length of the windshield. I'm going 60, 70 miles an hour. Stays on there, goes back into the engine area, and then falls out of my truck. And the lady followed me. She's like, you know, a snake fell out of your truck. I was like, I was just driving because I didn't know. I, couldn't do anything at that point. There was nowhere to stop. There was nothing to do. And it was definitely... It's like having a bee in your car. Yeah, Yeah. and it was a diamond head rattlesnake, and I was afraid because sometimes, like, my truck will leak water into, like, where my feet are, you know, from rain. So I was afraid the snake was going to go down there. But they get up in the trucks in the desert. They get up in there because uh, mice will get in uh, in there, make nests, and eat your shit. And then the snakes get up there to eat them. Uh, So that was my... But I didn't have to battle it with anything. Um, Hey, what's up, Naquan? You guys can see his episode. He was our second to last guest. Um, What episode are we on? 33 now? 33, buddy. We should have been 32 because then you would have been 32. That would have been more thematically appropriate. Okay, so... Damn it. Australia. Yeah. <laughs> so outside of Brisbane, you were telling me last night you were doing some sketchy shit sometimes. You're like, oh, just follow people to get like, oh, black no, I, market things. Yeah. Well, like going to Brisbane, I went to Brisbane a couple of times and just would get real drunk. Like one time I went to a Wu-Tang Clan concert. In Australia? Yeah. Shut up. By the way, Jizza's coming here and doing all liquid tongues in June. Sorry, I'm going to oh, Sister oh. Bar. But... Do you guys just see them? So okay. See the Everyone but Method Man, because Method Man couldn't get a visa. <laughs> that they weirdly were, makes sense. They were allowing Method I'm, Man into I'm surprised Australia. all the rest of them could get visas and didn't have. No, fa- I'm not saying anything, but you know. Yeah. They're wild boys. Um, so you saw them there and did some sketch saw them shit. There. And then, just like walking out of the concert, there was just some like random Australian dudes. They were like, I was like, you guys know where to get any weed? I'm like, yeah, we do. But what we're really into is pills. Because Australians love doing pills. Really? What kind of pills? Just like uppers mostly. Like prescription or like like ecstasy and Molly? Like uh, ecstasy and Molly, Molly and that Molly's kind of stuff. Really pill, but... Well, you know, the ACDC drummer guy, he was all whacked out on speed for a while. He lives oh, in yeah. Australia. Oh, yeah. They're yeah. From oh, they do a ton of meth in Australia. Yeah, they love meth. Really? So they are kind of like our South. Yeah, my sister works as like a worked as a parole officer kind of down there. Mm. And most of her people were like meth related offenses. Mm. Damn. They really are like if the South broke off, like if 
England was like America and the South broke off. I mean, that's well, what that's it what is. It, that's what prisoners. it is. Exactly. Yeah. That's what it is. But it's like if the country broke off and like moved over yeah. and they're just like Southern England. Do you know how long it takes to get their flight? It's like 22 yeah. hours. Yeah, what's it's the... Because where do you fly in, in out of? or Because you would flew... have to drive to Brisbane first, right? Yeah. Like the whole trip. So we flew from like El Paso to LA and then LA all the way to Sydney. And that was I think, like 18 hours. And Jesus. then Sydney to Brisbane. How far is that? That's about four hours, probably. Yeah. It's 22, 22. hours, That's no insane. matter. Yeah. Have it's you insane. been there? No, I've never been, but I've heard, like, there's a lot of comedians, like Tom Zagora. There's a lot of them that haven't gone to Australia because, because of the flight. It's too, it's, that's yeah. really far. Like, what do you even do in a flight, like, uh, at that point? so much he's, better he's, now. He's, he's kind of going now, like, because he's going everywhere. He has, he's I'm, coming I'm, everywhere. I'm everywhere. You know, he's, he's coming here. Yeah, like, November 2nd, I'm going. I think. Right. Yeah, I went to see him in El Paso. I'll go. Mm. I know. It depends how the, much the tickets are, though, because the tickets were decent in El Paso. How much were they? Eighty bucks. I think they were eighty, but bucks. here for Burt Kreischer is one hundred and forty-five to two thirty-five or something. Really? When I looked, it was only like fifty bucks. Like the day of, but we already oh, had planned man. like not Those to are go. So. But, it's like um, Ice Cube. The fucking front row seats were seven hundred. Jesus. Oh, at that the what was it called? I'm sorry. Uh, Kings of the West. Kings of the West. Yeah. Dude, that would have been so fun to be at. Tyler was there. Those pictures. I was are right great. up front, like Ice Cube was right there. Ugh. Oh, I that's can smell. Like, he smells like cotton candy. Really? Yeah. That's a fun fact. It smells like cotton candy. Guys, you that's heard cool. it here first. Ice Cube smells like cotton candy. Straight out of Compton, smelling like cotton. <laughs> Do candy. you like the county fair? <laughs> Then you'll love Ice Cube. <laughs> what if every <laughs> member of NWA smells like a different carnival treat? Mm. All together, it felt like, like Dre right smells like funnel cake. <laughs> <laughs> one has to smell like you know, one of the twist fries. <laughs> yeah, he smells turkey like a turkey fry. leg. Yeah, we gotta have the turkey <laughs> leg and then the giant turkey legs. That's where it's at. <laughs> I've never technically had one. What a fragrant group they were. <laughs> it's a real shame. They're like, eat all of this and go spinny rides and don't throw up. But yeah, I'm excited to go see them. So you saw them when I got some weed. Wu Tang. Wu Tang. Oh yeah, Wu Tang. And then yeah, just went and party with some Australians. But you also were getting black market DVDs as well. <laughs> oh no, that was in China. Oh, we were getting okay. Black well, DVDs nice segue. So you, went, you were in China before or after Australia? Oh, I've been to China like four times before I went to Australia. Are you serious? I thought you'd only been like twice. No, I've been like four lived times. there or visited. Just like, I mean, I spent like three months there at a time, so a little longer than just like a visit. Why? Yeah. So the first two times my dad worked over there for like a year at a time. Was Doing he some what? Like CEO executive? I know. Guy? Like, can yeah, you tell he's just an engineer. Good. Just an engineer. So he was, he's just an he was engineer. Like, I, in China. He just went to MIT or he's something. He's a good engineer, I guess. Yeah. Right. I like, mean, none of the factories. Maybe China were like ever, engineering is probably the top. <laughs> not a single factory he worked on in China, I think, ever ended up getting built, though. Because, like, some bureaucratic oh, thing or something would happen. He was a factory builder? So he would go, but yeah. He still got wait, paid. But wait, he still got paid on that. So your dad was work. essentially building factories for little kids to make our shoes? Well, to make our cell phones, okay? Oh, cell phones. I'm and sorry. And for DuPont, so like to mix our chemicals. They have the small hands oh, so they lovely. can do it. Yeah. For DuPont, too? Interesting. Hey, at least they're doing something, you know? Interesting. Our kids are just sitting around here playing Fortnite. Getting drunk. Make a shoe, you know? <laughs> Make a shoe. Make, sh make something. Just be make creative. A shoe. Be something. It, it is like forced cre. It's kind of forced creativity in a way. They're just like, ah, now you make shoes. Now you make clothes. It <laughs> would be cool if they were just like, so you have to make a thousand that look like this, but then you can make one that's whatever you want. Just like go nuts. <laughs> they would all look like Kanye West shoes. Dude, just custom Yeezys. <laughs> fucking weird ass. Oops. Those shoes really do look like the Tesla truck. Like, there's just, like, a weird, but they're more streamlined. I hate them. Anyway. Yeah, it's the yeah, future. They're, they're big and honeycomby. Honeycomb. Oh, yeah, it's the honeycomb shoes. feel. There's, like, chunky yes. feel. But I guess I used to wear back in the day these, like, chunky-ass skate shoes. Like, big-ass vans and, like, Yeah, but you those, know. like, had of a purpose. You know? That's true. I did actually skate. You can't pull a kickflip in those honeycomb mm -hmm. shoes. I kind of started being, well, not because I wanted to skate, and then I started wearing the shoes. I was like, well, I can't be a poser. I got to actually get a skateboard. But I was, like, <laughs> kind <laughs> of a... Yeah, yeah, whatever fucking is. yeah, I was like, yeah, I can't be, like, these whatevers. And I wasn't great or anything. I mean, I could skate around town and, like, drop curves and, like, ollie or whatever and, like, basic things and drop it out of five. But, yeah, all my friends, I just love them. I love the skateboarding culture. 
Shane would watch his mad skateboarding videos. Uh, well, you were just attracted to skater boys. That came after when I out found like the skateboarding. Then I was like, uh, oh, Zoomies. <laughs> well, you know a lot of Zoomies? I worked at a Zoomies for a while. I lived in Alamogordo. We had this place at the mall. Oh, my God. His name was Sky. And I can't. If somebody lived in Alamogordo and remembered this place that was at the mall that was a skate shop, Nikwa, you might remember Sky. Anyway, I bought, like, air walks from there and, like, vans. And, was I that in the White Sands Mall? Yep. Have you been there? Oh, yeah, yes. because you lived in, uh, speaking of other places, we'll get back to That's China, like, but you lived in Rio Dosa for a while. The second saddest mall It's a I've hall. Ever seen. It really is so. like a hallway with like five stores that can barely stay alive. And when those shut down, like five more pop up, and then those shut down. It's just like a ghost town. The food court serves fried bologna. Like sandwiches, <laughs> and that's a point of pride. Okay, but they because... do have this place, a Cactus Cafe. Naquan, if you're still watching, Cactus Cafe at the Hall Mall in Alamogordo. If it's still open, Cactus Cafe, they sell the Alamogordo Mall. The White Sands Mall. I don't even Mall. know if it's... Oh, it's the White Sands Mall. I don't even know if it's still open. No. Because the only thing... A big lots just took oh, over right. where the Kmart there's was. There's like a Beals and then there's like four stores I was yep. just dr- by and they took out the movie theater which used to be the heart of the place and without the movie theater it really died. Um, White Sands Mall, you should look at images. It's very sad. They're going to try to make it look better. But the Cactus Cafe, I used to ditch school and go there that and get... definitely... I used to go get like Sands Navajo Mall. tacos there and they were so good. Yeah, that's not it. They're trying to make Get like yeah. White Sands, New Mexico. Is this the Alamogordo Mall? Alamogordo yeah, that's the one. Yeah, the Beals is there. There's no fountain there. That ain't it. That ain't no, it. No, there's a fountain. The, there's not that fountain. Oh, no, not that fountain. The, there's no escalator for there's sure. There's a water fountain. I did a lot of... The first dick I ever touched was in that mall. <laughs> <laughs> the first dick I ever touched is dead now. Rest in peace, uh, TJ Aww. Barajas. Um... <laughs> I really added myself. It was during Dude Where's My Car. He was like, dude, was here's my inside? dick. Oh, uh, was this inside? What? Inside the mall? Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. The one right there. Yep. It's just a hallway. But the Cactus Cafe has the best now. the tacos. And the, the movie theater, I had a boyfriend that worked there a couple. And then we'd also, like, skip it up around. But Dude Where's My Car really turned into Dude Where's My Dick in seventh grade. I wonder why they call the other one White Sands Mall and but this one's Alamogordo that, Mall. See, even the sign makes you feel sad, right? Yeah, that really, yeah. and, like, the Carlsbad Mall are, like, two of the saddest malls I've ever the, been the to. The Roswell Mall is also pretty sad. Oh, the Roswell as well. Because you... Yeah, it's real sad. You were in Rideosa for how long? Roswell is really sad, man. Roswell in general, Have yeah, you ever gone during sad. the... The, f- we the went, alien festival? I'm, I'm big time into UFOs and aliens and shit. Oh, it makes me sad. And that kind of stuff. And we went there, and I was so fucking yep. let down, bro. Yeah. I When they show so on documentaries, down. they're like, Roswell and the whatever. But I'm like, ah, don't go. Jess was even like, where's Roswell? I want to go. I was like, yeah, no, nah, it's nothing. Don't. It's not worth it. Everything's like alien thing, but there's nothing there. The only there. thing that's cool there it's is like the a sign street. that you enter into. Yep. And you take a picture. There's like a coffee shop and the a gift shop that are cool and that's it. Is fucking ridiculous. That thing is hilarious. Patty and Patty went in there and Patty was like, if this thing was fucking 20 bucks, I would have asked for my goddamn yes. money back. It's that bad. Even Geneva remembers the fry bread at Cactus Cafe and she didn't even live there. I asked my sister. But yeah, McMaster's. dude, the alien, the McMaster's, Monsieur McMaster's, she, uh, I would what's love to the, hear you and Geneva the, talk. What's with the pre- you though, when you say it. Uh, Mr. McMaster's, you're what, so smart. Thank you, you for your knowledge. <laughs> um, and Do you say that as like... Thank you, Geneva. <laughs> she helped a lot with my smartness, I Are think. Are you being serious or is that No, sarcastic? I mean it. Well, both. You're being sarcastic. Both. I'm being sarcastic, but also I do love my sister, and she's very smart, and her, like, you and her have very smart brains like that, where, like, I don't know, I just get stimulated by them talking. But, yeah, great fried bread. But aliens, yeah, I was telling Jess, well, don't go over fucking Roswell, don't go. I went to go play soccer there all the time growing up, because um, I was on a select team. I was very Ooh, talented, yeah. You. We were a traveling well, look team. Look how tall you are. Fantastic. You're, you're, you're all legs, legs for they soccer. Tried... All these women out here have short legs. So. I'm nothing, well, and I'm tall, but I also am, like, a spider where my torso is like only this tall my torso like from my hips to like my boobs is like this big so right. i have like a spider small body and then just nothing but limbs i'm like, like a huntsman spider on the i'm field. a huntsman yeah, spider human huntsman spider human, human huntsman. huntsman that's what they call me on the field what's up human huntsman but yeah i played on teams and we traveled all over the southwest and i would also was a sharpshooter in the like competition state? was there any yeah. state we medals? were the like, so, yeah, we got mad medals, and I also got medals and being a sharpshooter. And because we had, still have them? 
uh, they might got lost in the flood. We did have a flood. Oh, damn. Um, like we got lost in the fire. Uh, but anyway, it was a fish we were called the Blue Angels. If ever, anybody who remembers the Blue Angels, we were badass. Had <laughs> sick ass Adidas uniforms and matching cleats. Like we were sharp. Look at Blue Angels Alamogordo soccer team. Any Blue we're Angels the girls, fans out there? And we would travel all over. And I was technically too young to be on the team, but I was tall and like a decent midfielder. And I was a sharpshooter. My sister was on the team, and they wanted to keep us together so we could travel. Um, but the sharpshooters, we had tournaments aside from the games, and the tournaments were like, you know, who can juggle a soccer ball? Who can do this? And for mine, it was like a goal post, and they would tape off the corners and like a center thing, and you try to shoot into those, and I would like always fucking got gold in those. I'm pretty good at precision things like darts and like playing pool. Love it. So I like bowling, I'm decent at bowling because I like just precision. Yeah. Uh, Almagorda soccer team. Blue Angels. Blue, yeah. Not, not what's the up? Sports. There might be oh the Blue Angels. There's a boy with Blue Angels right too. There. Yeah, that dude, might have been was not. What year? I was soccer. in a lot of these years. I played at least for like four years on that Mount team. Mary. But I played like I did bowling. I played soccer from the time I could walk until I was like seventeen. Is that St. Mary's? No. No. Uh, no. The top. Those were the our uniforms where you were at the top. Yeah, That's are... just not our team. We had better uniforms than the other girls down there too. I'll have to find you guys pictures. Anyways, I digress. But yeah, I was really good at volleyball as well. Track, I could run for a long time, but I would get hot, and it was in the summer, and I would faint. I literally fainted, like, twice on the track. Um, mm. I played soccer so, for a while, and then one day like went good. to, like, oh, no, I was terrible. I was terrible at Dude. soccer, but I kept playing for, like, 11 years. Mm -hmm. And then it went to the point where you had to, like, pay to be on the soccer team. That's what, yeah, we like, still had to go for out for it. That's what we did. And my mom was like, do you want to keep doing this? I'm like, no. <laughs> I fucking suck at it. I hate soccer. Yeah, my oldest. I don't know. I didn't know it was an option. Mr. McMaster's over here, Geneva, like, opted out of all the sports. She's like, I'll just do all the scholastic shit. Yeah. And me and my other sister, Sarah, was, like, a bad, like, she was a badass soccer player. But she was also always getting red cards and yellow cards because she was feisty. She was, like, Amanda sized your girlfriend's side is like small but feisty man this here and that see yeah. that's fun um, i like watching soccer games with people like that yeah she would like clothesline people if somebody people pissed fight. her off yeah. she would just like stick up their arm and clothesline them like i saw that or she would scissor kick if somebody tripped their own accident she would like put her legs their legs between hers and scissor kick them over and throw them down i was like Ugh. yeah my mom if she saw a red card she was like oh did sarah do something <laughs> like I, I all opted, the time i opted to do the, the sports thing <coughs> instead of the scholastic thing. I, I, did... was, I was the stoner drug addict you know like did you know fucking a lot of drugs during high school skipping class all the time but still did sports you know, I kind of was like, like you. What sports? What? Yeah, what sports did football, you do? Football, basketball, and wrestling. All I right. would switch off every you year basketball? basketball and baseball. I was going to say, I can see his baseball. Sorry, I'm so crumbly over here. Well, that's just mm. I didn't see it. Didn't go anywhere with I didn't anywhere. I hated it. basketball. It's even more impressive basketball like you were doing that stone, you know? Yeah, yeah I, I didn't. There you go. I'm All my, like, yeah, basketball friends and all the sports friends, I had all sorts of groups, but a lot of them got kicked out because they were. <laughs> Drinking, shout out Andrew Palm calling people out. Drinking like even at practice and being drunk and threw up and they were like high and drunk at games and stuff. <laughs> like we get through basketball life. But they were also like really smart but really talented like athletes. So I don't know. It was just part. I, I didn't, didn't start smoking. I didn't start smoking until later. I was very smart. Technically, I guess I did all of the scholastic and I also did the music and I did the sports. So my sisters kind of chose later. I played saxophone for like seven years. Okay. I still have it. it needs repairing. I did like a bunch of sports and then I did all the fucking like I've called it my X Men training. Like they would send this to state, me and Geneva McMasters and send this to these things. These like they would send this to these state championships and we would have to like do puzzles in front of people and I call it our X Men. But they would oh. take us out of class, gifted programs, and then give us a puzzle, look at it, now take it apart, now put it back together by memory, now read this paragraph, now recite every word, you have five minutes to memorize two paragraphs, and now you have to recite it perfectly in front of an audience. Yeah, her sister's like, got like three all masters, these... Geneva a was like, doctorates. Yeah, Geneva like smart as fuck, so I did all my X-Men training, so did Geneva, and I think that's what got me good at performing <laughs> too, is because even though I was a shy kid, I was like, I have to be smart, and this is... my parents will love me and more if I'm smart, and I was smart, and I had a good memory, but that's also why I got in theater, because I was already good at memorizing shit and I think that helps in joke writing with memorization 
Going back to jokes. That's true. Um, I mean, I'm just worried after hearing about your trading, like, what's the phrase that's going to make you kill the president of the United States? <laughs> I, also like, did I, fucking... I also did Taekwondo yeah. as a kid. I did Taekwondo as a kid, too, for, like, they five They trained six a killing years. machine. <laughs> I the did National be... Park Services. Dude, I, did I tell you that I, I told <laughs> All like... these rangers did. So I t- Whenever someone tries to do drilling in the Arctic reserves, <laughs> we're going to activate Carla. I told my dad... <laughs> just one keyword. I <laughs> almost... <laughs> I almost want to call my dad. We don't have the court out. I was going to call my dad and tell, I was going to tell a story when I I was nine. I asked him, I told him I wanted to be an FBI. He said, uh, here, sit and watch this movie because he's a cinephile as well. And we're nine. But if it's, you know, an award winning movie, we watched Silence of the Lambs. And then he said, do you still want to be an FBI agent? And I was like, no, but this is one of my favorite movies. But my dad trained at Fletzy. So it's Fletzy and Quantico are the places that they train federal agents that carry guns. And my dad, to be in the Park Service carrying a gun, he trained with the FBI agents out there. So he knew, like, all, like, what it took. Like, he went through the same what? training, which is Fletzy's in Florida. And Quantico's, like, in D.C. Huh? Patty knows all of them. Yeah, the Florida one. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was out in Florida. And he was, like, running sand dunes in the summer and shit. And, like, Fucking doing crazy stuff. Right. Um, that other room, she does all kinds of yeah, secrets. I, I think yeah, Patty's a secret agent. <laughs> Silence of the Lambs. It's a would great make, movie. That would make me want to like be a secret agent more. I mean, I she has an interesting friend she gets to meet. <laughs> Making new friends. Like a fun experience. He has a different diet. I have yeah. vegan friends. I'm not judging. I have me eating friends. It's I feel like Jodie Foster got through a lot of the issues she had with her dad. Thanks to Hannibal Lecter. Oh my god, you're right. And that's not to be undersold. And then at the end of the day, she gets to save that girl never, in the pit. Maybe that's yeah, like, why I love it. Because really, she like went through her trauma. It's a love story. Very few jobs she, are that it's, fulfilling. It's a bromance. Know? Because she, she's gay. It's a bromance. And um... You know, also like a trauma, getting over trauma story. I love it. Yeah, it's really. It's a lamb. It's, it's like if it's the FBI great can do that for you, it's why wouldn't you good, work there? Yeah, I wanted to do that. Emotional but, fulfillment and I gotta do that. saving women from holes. <laughs> I the, I the smarts, but not the motivation. Yeah. Save the pit. Save the from all. Literally. Yeah, sorry, I'm like running into the set. Oh, man. So, <laughs> my dad will give you money. <laughs> Speaking of memorizing, so in the thing that I love about Robert, um, we're coming in and out of things. Your comedy brain to me, speak about big brains, is so insane that you can hear something two minutes before you say the joke, like the person before you had said something in their set, and you're like, oh, I'm going to say something off that. And you make it seem like it was semi-prepared because it's so well-crafted. And one more thing on that, at the garage, going to the garage, because he was one of the garage originator OGs, there is when I really kind of picked up from you, like, oh, you can talk about the subjects that other people are talking about, but you can make it yours and see your point of view, and it doesn't have to be like, oh, I'm going to say this better than you did. Because you, am I wrong? You do sometimes come up with sets based off what other people said. Oh, yeah. No, and I definitely, you know, I, I think is like, love to me is about active listening. You know, like, that's love, the important yeah. thing. We were talking so, about like, that. like, that's why I try to, you know, listen to people's sets and then... If I like what they're talking about, like, I'll, you know, try to riff on that as well. Mm-hmm. Not in any, like, you know, because everyone's make, like, at the end of the day, everyone makes jokes pretty much about the same things. Because if you were making jokes about something that wasn't relatable, no one's going to give a fuck about your yeah. jokes. Like, we everyone were... makes jokes about similar things because that's what's relatable to people. Well, we were watching at Seinfeld, not to cut you off, we were watching at Se- Seinfeld at your house, and I've been rewatching other people in my life too. I love and Yes, and you too, and even Jess Wood, and it keeps coming up, and it always has in my life where, like, I remembered as a kid some of these episodes, but now rewatching, I'm like, I can still make jokes about these things. He covered every fucking almost idea that there was yeah. out there. Even su- they made suicide funny in an episode. They covered everything, and the fact that they could do that, and I was rape. like. And, and rape. It, and uh, the, the time where he went under uh, the dentist and woke up yes. and they're putting their clothes on. <laughs> yep. I, yeah, so the fact that they could cover anything, I was like. He got raped. He thought he yeah. got raped. I thought I was untucked. I, get, I thought I was tucked. I woke up untucked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the untucked, the untucked. I was untucked. What do you mean untucked? Um, 
But yeah, I that kind of thing of like any subject can be talked about, and it's just how you the, the you contest. view it. Uh, birth control, the sponges. We were talking about that last night. Um, so many different things that I I love, and and going back to your style too, or you know just what I've seen you do in life, I see that too. Is like it makes me be like, oh, I can still talk about this subject, and it's not off whatever. Just because they said it, I can say it differently. Yeah, and it's not any like whatever on what they said or no, you, can, think, trying to compare to them. You go insane if you were like, oh, I can't talk about any topic that other people are joking about. Because you could never watch any, like, special or anything. You don't, cause... you don't believe there's a line. No. I don't. I don't believe there's a line. I mean, I think you should, you got to respect it and make a good joke. Yeah, it can't be. Yeah, about, it has to like, be funny. It can't be, like, try you know, the joke that line, Tsunami you know? told about Josh. Yeah. That um, was vindictive as fuck. I will, yeah, I will. About his dead dad and shit. I'm it just, comes from a spiteful place like that, then that's not good. Right, yeah. but it could have been funny if yeah. she would have spun it different. But, I yeah. mean, Corny, you well. You can laugh, you can joke about death. So yeah. even Corny has said something during Iris battle. I didn't, because it wasn't that deep. Well, she was just like, oh, glad your mom's not here to see you, something, something, you know. You guys were so apologetic. Uh, but stuff. we never said sorry. We hu- <laughs> we only hugged at the end. We never, battle. we watched the last episode. Even you guys Rob were, said that. You guys, mom was like, dude, that fucking made me so sick to see them up there apologizing we didn't apologize <laughs> to each other once except at the end we just hugged each other we didn't like you guys it. were apologizing because we're women and you guys think we're soft and we're not and we didn't destroy each other's looks like you do we did it like but more if there was a guy up there you would have done it what about looks yeah you talk, we talked about sex i called i called a, a female whiskey dick a courtney cunt like yeah. Like, like I wasn't going light. Do you know what I mean? Like that wasn't like, oh, I wasn't proud. That one was my happiest. Like I felt proud now. to say that and like oh, whatever. Now, <laughs> Courtney, it just was nice. But no, I get what you're saying. Like I, I want to go up against a guy. To be honest, in a way, not even like oh, guy versus girls. I just I feel like I might honestly be a little more like no holds bar. I'm not even trying to be like because you're a guy, no, and I'm you're, a girl. You're, you're... Your comedy is getting better. It's it's as far getting as, there. As far as I'm knowing you used to be very timid at first. I'm getting and now. It's like you're like. Thank you for saying that, Larry. I appreciate. I do appreciate that because even on past that, my family saw me and my dad before. I was like, oh my god, this fucked me up. My dad, I was leaving his house the night before. I was gonna go to El Paso. He's like, hey, because when he saw me, I was like very nervous and not overly, but he's like, yeah, just slow down. And I talk fast anyway. I was like, I know. He's like. Yeah, and I mumble because I have a fucking speech impediment. And he was like, don't, don't be nervous. And, you know, uh, blah, blah. I was like, no, well, now I'm going to get nervous. He was like, Carla, it's called notes. And I was like, Dad, what the fuck? But I couldn't tell. I have other comedians tell me things because I've heard that before. And I, I'm aware of my things and I'm trying to move past them. And the more confident I get in what kind of comedian anyway and anyone trying to aspire to be a comedian, like, it doesn't happen overnight. Like, you get more comfortable on stage. You find... Your voice, you yeah. find like, yeah, it, it, what works, what doesn't work. And, I have um, some of his comedy if you want to play it. Some what? Oh, yes. Can we play some of your footage and we'll get back to all the I, other things? Get, some sure. China and things? I got to kind of set it up. A and little then we'll get back to his <laughs> joke writing and things. I'm like, shrink this down. I have so much mm-hmm. to talk to you about still. Sorry, Ooh. I'm like holding you hostage. No, this is fun. Oh, so per- Katie, Katie and Perry. Larry and Patty, your guys' names Katie are Perry. <laughs> so similar. Katie Perry. Your guys' names are so similar in the mouth that it's like. <laughs> Katie Perry. I was gonna she say Katie came to and my Perry. high school like the year You're after Perry. I graduated. You're Katie. Weird. Why? Because we did a they did a lip sync video <laughs> to one of their songs, and she liked it so much, she came and played in the auditorium. What? And I was so glad that was like the year after I graduated. In Colorado? Yeah. Because we had the Lakewood Tigers. That was our. Oh, oh. She had that roar song. Uh-huh. Yeah, she was really into cats for a while. <laughs> I had cats on my shirt. First ladies, and then cats. Cats on my shirt. Oh, there's Mulkey. What's What show, oh, okay, so what set up here, Larry? What show are we doing this from? It's from the Gong Show. Okay, Gong Show this past month. Uh, Robert Eister doing some camping. It was styling. before the 16th when you guys did the roast battle. Is it weird to watch yourself with yeah, other people? Yeah, I never watch myself. Yeah, I try to, but it may. I, yeah, I, I listen to myself a lot. So yeah, I, I listen to myself a lot, though, yeah, which yeah. I'm trying to... Oh, Larry, did I tell you how I lost all... Okay, so I lost all those those notifications, or not notifications, all those fucking audio voice recordings of my sets from the last two years. And then all of a sudden, the last two months, I re- my phone reset, they all came back. 
because I had lost like over 300 voice recordings of my sets for like a while, and I was so sad, and now I have them back. I'm stoked. Yay. Mm, we are doing it, it and doing it and doing it out here. Wolfson, right? Wolfson. Yes. Yeah, do you know I you was up after, after Richard Wolfson. You were after, there you are. I got you. Back it up. Yeah, he was all wild. I think a wild child today. This is where you started, so. Man, for a while we were worried that it was like just going to be Joaquin in the final with Richard Wolfson and Caleb Mulkey. And like, it'd be a weird final where Richard Wolfson's the only one that's able to make eye contact. Just get a little super on the spectrum, you know? Well, you gotta respect Caleb Mulkey a little more. You know, like, it hurts me when people are like, he has school shooter vibes. Because you're here, you realize we all have school shooter vibes. I haven't met a comedian that doesn't have school shooter vibes. Joaquin has school shooter vibes. He just wouldn't be good at it. <laughs> He's not gonna get the job done. Fucking so excited for the gong show. I didn't sleep last night because of the gong show. I don't do I didn't sleep last night because I was so excited. I didn't sleep because I was on 100% excitement. Yeah, no, I was on like 15% excitement. The rest was probably baby aspirin. I'm hoping. It was mostly cocaine. Yeah. Okay, so excitement is my eu euphemism for cocaine. Now, okay, so did you guys hear about that guy in the air balloon that died? The hot air balloon? They did a toxicity thing on him and they were like, he had a lot of cocaine in his system. That struck me as odd. Because cocaine doesn't seem like a ballooning drug. <laughs> Like, cocaine is the kind of drug where you go and you perform at a gong show. It's not a balloony drug. Like, no one there is like, let's fucking go! Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> so, like, wicker? We got a lot of wicker here. What a dope ass wicker. I'm all excited to do the gong show. Like, I wanted to do the gong show. Cause I, like, I love this whole concept. It's like, it's like doing, doing comedy, comedy and appropriating Asian culture. <laughs> I'll know Ruto run the whole way there. <laughs> Fucking love, love that, that shit. shit. Uh, she's got a girlfriend, she's Mexican, but like pretty pale. Like she's Mexican, but she could be passing, you know? <laughs> like she's Mexican, but I feel like if the coming race war happens, she'll be good. Like I can be like, oh, she's with me and they'll believe her. She'll be like, why do we go through? You guys don't have tacos. I'm like, yeah, but we have more guns. We have a weird number of guns. And you're just gonna have to eat some potato salad with raisins. <laughs> That's gonna be your life now. My mom, last Tuesday, thought that it was St. Patrick's Day. And she wished me a happy St. Patrick's Day. And I had to be the one to tell her, like, it's not St. Patrick's Day. And it was bad because she'd been wishing people Saint, like happy St. Patrick's Day the entire fucking week. She yelled at someone at Smith's because the cost of cabbage was too high. She's like, what about the holiday? So I'm just happy like her dementia's gonna be festive. Like moving into the future, as she gets older, like it's gonna be Christmas in July. Probably a lot. And I am fine with that. Oh the god. Cause I'm Man, I'm so, like, thanks, Mark J. Man, I'm pissed when I heard that we were going to war with Russia. Cause I'm like, am I, my, am I turning into my dad? Are we gonna have the same enemy? I thought we were gonna fight someone new. I wanted to fight aliens. Like I knew we were gonna have a war during our time. I wanted to be like Independence Day shit. Yeah. I wanted them all to come down and have their ships kind of look like dicks, but they don't know it. Cause they don't know what human genitalia looks like. They got alien shit going on. The whole time, like we're just laughing about it. We think it's fun. That guy. I love the way My girlfriend has trouble separating the art from right. the artist, which I don't like because Remix to Ignition is a dope song. <laughs> Like, I want to be able to listen to all the R. Kelly I want to, 
regardless of the shit he did. I almost put this Because me not way. listening to Remix to Ignition doesn't allow someone to just be free now. Like, I love listening to Michael Jackson, and if I don't listen to Michael Jackson, it doesn't unlick those kids' buttholes. <laughs> like, like, those buttholes are still licked. No fucking matter what. Ugh. You hear him in the background. Yeah. People are like, shut the fuck up. All right, guys. Have a good one. <laughs> I love that, dude. You're just like, all right, guys. Go fuck yourself. Have a good one. Wait, they were telling you or somebody else to shut up because people were talking? Yeah, well, everybody was getting, like, riled up. At the, they knows? get riled up at the gong show. Who fucking cares? Yeah, everybody gets, like, riled up. Or, or, or there's a thing where the people think they're part of the joke and they get, like, so, like, yeah, yeah. And you're like, you're ruining... <laughs> Like you're not I, I like, a part I like of your second one. Now, me and Rob Whoa. talked about this because um, Jamar didn't had said to fucking Rob, "Oh, I didn't know that he'd said that joke." And I was like, "Bullshit, dude! I got that shit on video." He was walking up with the fucking the gong. He was walking up to gong you, mm-hmm. and you're like, "Oh, come on! Don't fucking do it." Do you remember any of that? The second? No, I was pretty. I was pretty. Yeah, you're pretty fucking blacked out. Uh, let me let me just show. Yeah, you. I was. Not... <laughs> We're putting him through. Oh, this geez. is some sort of like. Oh my god! After oh. this, no, I'll give you a break. We're gonna Check do something this one. later no, to you. So fucking funny. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm getting a pencil. I'm what like reaching for doing? a pencil. I'm trying to make a, a note to self doing? about something. Um, because we're putting him through this sort of like a next comedian uh, therapy. Mental yeah, and later on, another mental gauntlet. <laughs> His kids not seeing him, and I'm like, good for those kids. <laughs> That's better for those kids all day. <laughs> like people are wondering why Jamar Hall's not doing a set tonight. Uh-oh. And the thing is, the rumor is Jamar Hall goes to other states and tells Albuquerque comedians <laughs> jokes. Oh. So oh. that's why he's not doing a set tonight. Now watch, watch. Because they would remember the jokes. Watch. You can't gong yet! <laughs> what, oh, you can't gong over. for petty shit! Don't touch your shit. Like, honestly, yeah, there he is. Jamar, you're not the worst person on the judging crew. Let's go. Oh. Like, honestly, I think the and weirdest then, thing on the judging crew. When you started talking about <laughs> this, this. You're amazing, Robert. You're he is awesome. so, his you're brain is so quick. Awesome. You guys don't understand how quick his brain is. Well, um, <laughs> when you were talking about this, whoops. Uh, <laughs> How are you feeling I don't right know, now? It's like, what is it it's about hilarious. the rebel stage? Where it was like, this was not a roast show, but oh, for some reason I was God. like, this is what we do here. It's so funny because it wasn't a roast. Show. I have to remind myself, it's not a roast dead, show. Yeah. You were roasting too much. Well, I think when you were talking shit about the hut, <clears throat> the hustle, yeah. the dudes in the back were screaming, "Don't you dare talk shit about the hustle!" They worked there. Mm. And that's the reason why Rob is all talk your shit. Talk your shit. Uh, is the guy who is the guy who is running 101.3 the hustle? Because he's a white dude. It's like I get it. Find your plantation where you can. <laughs> Just fucking do it. Dude, that is fucking oh, gold. Robert. You're that's so cool, funny. buddy. Uh, You're so smart. That's what I'm just like. Fun stuff. Like, just, God, I'm glad we show. don't have the masks now. Because now we can see how weird we all look all the time. And also, open mouth kissing strangers is back in. <laughs> Fucking hella dope. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, I miss the masks. Like, at least when people protested against the masks. Like, remember when a bunch of cops just retired? Like a bunch of cops retired because of the mask mandate. It's like, fuck it, now you won't take the shot. Good. 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 I was laughing. Oh, that, was, that, was, that was that. Girl, that was, that awesome. was that. <laughs> and then this one started going downhill. Mm. A little bit. No, it definitely went downhill. 
Because you were looking at your phone. You should have just ended it. Yeah, I should have just gotten out there. Yeah. The ending. Should have just ended the it. End but it's, you know. But so it is funny. what it is. Hey, it was a good fucking set. That's all I got to say. I had fun, and I think awesome. that's the most important yes. thing. Yeah, it was yeah awesome. we're you talking. You won my heart over if that. If you night. go to Disneyland, just have fun. It just doesn't matter heart. if you can't go back because you, you know, accosted Snoopy or something. Yeah, yeah. I That's what I was saying. Like, Rob's, like, you're, like, the most assuming and unassuming guy of things because you're, like, I'm just, like, he's also just the most passive person in the best way. He reminds way. me of the little kid on The Simpsons. He just... <laughs> like which which one? I don't the scraggly know. hair. No. Kid. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No. The no. mentally handicapped. I was gonna say Nelson. <laughs> Ralph. Yeah. No, no. I don't think it's Ralph. Don't yeah. Know. Chief Wiggum's son. Yeah. I think so. I can't. Remember. That kid's like hard on the spectrum. But it's like <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Ralph's got some problems. Ralph. <laughs> Wow. Ralph's in Ralph's wow. been in like third grade this, for years. Well, so is Bart. He was in Lisa's class and Bart's class. Yeah, right. He's gonna be in Maggie's <laughs> class. But it's gonna be third grade the entire time. Super That's fucking Ralph. Oh my god. Is it that is it Ralph? No. I don't know. No, he didn't choo choo choose that life. He's just missing a chromosome. <laughs> Hey, what do you think about the Down syndrome Victoria's Secret model? I think it seems exploitive and kind of weird. Um, hold on. Can I? <laughs> can Amanda come over here right now for like half a second and 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 it pronounce? Can you come say Down syndrome to us? Because I just realized this is something. She can say it right here. Yeah. Or right there. No, or right there. Can you say it? It's, it's Down syndrome. Down syndrome. We made a fun of her for like an hour. Call, like, you say it. Down syndrome like some. I say <laughs> Down with the syndrome. <laughs> down with, with, down with the down with down syndrome. syndrome. Yep. And then I was like, it's Down syndrome. She's like, Down syndrome. And I was like, neither, <laughs> neither. But the Victoria's Secret model. Are you happy about the Down syndrome one? I am. I have a cousin. My my closest in age cousin actually has Down syndrome. And and he's fucking kicking ass. He's a badass. But I'm. <sighs> I don't know. Only because there's a certain degree, legally, of disability where you can't have sex with somebody who doesn't have a disability, basically, because you don't have enough consent to do so. So if you have, you don't have enough mental consent to consent that. So I wonder how much consent she has mentally to put her body. I'm not that's saying. What I wondered. Like, I'm not saying she's naked. Over shit, yeah, and I'm like, not oh, saying she's Gary naked. Coleman. How old is she? Do we know? Plus, does she even understand she's like, in the inherent like sexuality that comes from Have being you seen a her? Have you seen she's her? beautiful, and yeah. I I'm all for equality on things, but also again, there's some sort of a. I don't know if she mentally has consent to be doing that. And I guess maybe she's not wearing more than just like a bathing suit, if you put it that way. But if she's like thonging around, you know, with scanty clad, see-through bras on a catwalk with angel wings, like it doesn't, it seems more like a display for people to be like, see, everybody's okay with it, right? Like nobody's yeah. weird with, with with disabled people, right? Like everybody's fine, but it's like a mockery of it almost. It's like how we used to have like, I'm not comparing to freak shows, but I used to compare like TLC and different like, you know, little people and whatever to like freak shows is like before we used to go to places to watch people that were different and had different physicalities from them. And now we just watch them in our box at home on there the TV, is. you know? Exactly, and that's what I'm saying. I wonder mentally, Patty. Alone, yes, but there are those that cannot she might be a high functioning many, and I, I hopefully many, you know many, I hope the parents have had that sort of care for her mentally before and got her assessed in the way that she listen could to, handle to that. And... I do care because this is mental health, but also you know I don't know nice it's not mental health. Nice this pink bro. Like down with the syndrome. Down, it's well. It's, <laughs> Is mental health within disability? She's not mental. There's no mental no. Health. She has a disability, but there's mental health when you're putting your body on display. She's it's like girls who do porn and then like now my mental health is fucked because I am like fucked. She's not doing it. porn. She's no. I'm saying but yeah, but she has Down syndrome. I wonder if there she... are any Down syndrome <laughs> porn models. I'm sure there's probably mm. some Down syndrome mm. porn. That's that is what. Okay, I've gone there. down some avenues yeah. in my life. I'm porn. That's one that I have not and probably would not want to go got, down. I've seen and amputee I, porn. And I've seen that. Yeah. I've seen. I'm just curious, but See, there's porn is actually the only thing that's truly open to everyone. You know, down syndrome right. anything. I, anything. Yeah. I don't, I don't think, think so. No. I, no. 
Are you an avid port watcher? Well, I've never like gone down those avenues, but I'm sure they exist. Can you share what that's something that's like a diagon alley and I'm not a wizard. Can you share what your favorite app? <laughs> <at? laughs> I'm not a wizard. Like, it's, I don't know. It's out there, I'm sure, but I don't I can't access it. That's what I'm it. saying, yeah, I don't no, want that's, that's like the platform yeah, nine and three quarters. Okay. She's beautiful and I'm not saying don't do what you want to do. She's I just giving some sass right there I want... in that picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh no oh no i didn't just buy this bra on sale and it fits perfect they don't carry my bra size there so fuck them i don't so is them. this off limits as far as joking because you don't see too much joking about, about, about i had to bring it up to a few people like what are you talking about i was like dude this has been in the news for over a month no yeah i've seen this before there's that there's do you know what i noticed in town i was telling it's come up twice this week me, uh, Sarah Kennedy, and Karen Carson got together to write for a minute, and then Karen shared some stuff, and we were just talking about things that are hard to write about and how to make them funny. And I noticed, and not that I'm trying to make jokes about homeless or unsheltered people or anything, but I notice anytime somebody brings up homeless people on stage, the audience is just like, especially in this city, they're like, no. That's we can't laugh. Wanna, they want to push can't them laugh. out of the way. We can't laugh. They, they want. want they don't want to think about it. And if they laugh, they think then, oh no, then I'm a part of. They're gonna cancel me because I laugh because then I'm hating on them. But also, I don't want to think about them. So it's like don't this. Spill your beer, dude. It's I'm not. It's <laughs> resting. There's like this one. I see it right on the edge. Like it's like right here. Oh, giving me wrong. anxiety. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not pouring beer into my... But anyway, homeless thing. But anyway, last night also, Steph Darnell was talking about that, the garage as well. Mm -hmm. It's like, that's come up twice. He was like, there's ways that you're not talking about them or being offensive, but you can shed light where it's like, hey, we can not ignore the fact that they exist. Yeah, but and can't then now... a comedian work a joke out? Like, so yeah. what's the first thing that comes no, out of your mouth that's going to be no, the most No, but anybody offensive? who's tried multiple homeless yeah, in this town at that. least... People, the audience doesn't like the comedians might be laughing, but the audience is like, well, so the thing oh, is I like, can't get canceled because if I laugh at this, I might be like, people every hate time me. you tell a homeless joke, someone loses their house. <laughs> and that's just, it's on us, you know? Every it's all on you. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are We the... create another homeless oh person. Because comedians, like, we apparently affect a lot of things. We... Oh, yeah, gosh. Jesus. Yeah. When in history, they is turn that... around and their tent is just gone, and they're like, "Stop!" The only time in history I can ever think of this happening, like as far as like comedians getting assaulted, mm -hmm. is back in the fucking King Henry days when the jester used to come up. To, oh, yeah. you're not funny enough. Let's kill that motherfucker. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah. Are we that now? No, yeah. that was a. I mean, that was a rough time for comedy because they were all bring, <laughs> like they were all bringer shows I as well. Can't. So that Bringers, sucked. They were forced to do it. Forced oh, to do. So I didn't know funny. anything else in the king's like, you gotta be the jester and all your friends gotta buy five pints of grog <laughs> you grog fucking stay what the fuck is grog it's like an old tiny like jester -y drink uh, a jester -y drink it's like mead yeah, it's oh i like mead Mead's rad i was looking at a fair tool in what here you going to fucking um, medieval times or something do we should have you ever been um no but i've been to what was what that thing show. yeah we went to a vampire like what is that yeah dudes jumping around and fucking Shit and spandex and shit. It was... were, were you like in Branson, Missouri? Or no, we were, yeah, no, that we were in, like in Buena, in I used Buena to live Park, near Branson, California. Oh, yeah. oh, that's funny. I went that's to a medieval times thinking. in Florida one time. Pretty dope. Yeah. I've never if you ever get the chance, especially if you go. Just high, I've never yeah. even been to like a Renaissance fair or anything. Oh, the. I've... I want to go to a Renaissance. Colorado I would like to has do a that. dope one because they've got like a permanent. I want to go there as a stormtrooper. That one's really cool. The stormtrooper. You're like a time traveler. Yeah. Time travel over the round. Yeah, it's be a beautiful <laughs> spot up there. Oh man! So you were in Colorado how long then? Go back to your. Uh, so I just want to get this chronological because you're okay. Let's do this real quick. You're born. I was born in Wisconsin in 1990. Yesterday. You look like you were born in Wisconsin. I yesterday. Like, with that fucking yeah. jacket on. Yesterday in Wisconsin. In fact, I've got a couple yeah, good Wisconsin. friends that used to live I've been in to Sheboygan and Appleton, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Um, so you were born there, but how long were you there? So I was there for six months. Oh, okay. Like me and Alamogordo, I was yeah. born there and I moved right away. Okay. And then my family moved to like Las Vegas and then to Pennsylvania and then to Oregon and then to Colorado. Jesus Christ, your dad wasn't because... very good at his job if he had a little job. Or like yeah, mine, was... they were trying to move up and they kept moving. We moved every year and a half. My dad would like... That's why he clicked uh... with Robert because he's a moving kid. He worked for Bechtel, which is like the biggest construction company in the world. Okay. Mm. So he did nuclear, like, or coal uh, power plants. Plant. And so mm -hmm. every time he finished a job, then we'd have to move. 
Uh, yeah, but I was a neighbor, but that's the reason why I went yeah, there. Yeah, I think, like, people who move a lot, like, we get that. Like, we understand the, like, adaptability to situations. And it's hard to say just... where you're from. That's the... Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Like, where are you from? It's like, uh, okay, uh, here's fine. Long Beach, because I was born there, I guess. Like, in Riverside, Corona, uh, Northern yep. California, like, mm -hmm. Japan. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, where do I exist? <laughs> Yeah, I'm not, I don't have a hometown. Like, people ask now. I'm just like, I don't know, national parks. I, I used to go by where I went to high school. Was Tacoma. Because yeah. I went to two high schools, Tacoma, Washington, and Riverside, mm -hmm. California. I was happy that we moved a lot, but my parents got divorced right before I went to high school. So I stayed in one place for high school. So I got like a full high school experience and like didn't have to my shift My divorced out of elementary school. I'm at you, yeah. Ours, I guess, separated. It was awesome because I got to do whatever the fuck I wanted. Mm -hmm. My mom didn't. Do so, and two Christmases. Dude. Two Christmases. No, for a sure. Single mom, fucking working nights, dude. It was a free for all. That. My dad left, I guess, technically in middle school, like seventh grade or something, but they didn't divorce till then. But yeah, I was just like free for all. My sisters had Latchkey both. shit. Yeah. My sisters had just Box both left. <laughs> dude, yeah, they gave me a car at 15, fresh 15, and then my parents divorced, and then, not gave it, it was my sisters handed me down. And then my sisters left, and it was just me and my mom, so I was just like, all right, go party. She's like, you're responsible. Come home someday. I don't know. Go to school, I guess. Mm -hmm. But I, yeah, didn't end up going to school too much, so I didn't graduate, even though I was smart. Some did bullshit, you Roger. Did you graduate? He went to fucking... Yeah, I, gra I went to, to college. I graduated He went, went to, to full college. Okay, so wow. you went to college where? So I went Let's to Montana that. That. State University for two years, and then to Columbia College, Chicago, for like two and a half to finish my degree. You went to Fucking Columbia? Four and a half years. College, Chicago. Not Columbia University. Okay. He's big like college. Big fucking difference. <laughs> okay. Columbia University <laughs> is tough to get into. Columbia College, Chicago has rolling admissions. Okay. Which is like anyone can get in. Gotcha. But it's one like, step up from community, right? Yeah. That's mm -hmm. why they have so many C's. <laughs> like, that's like, it's um, like Hayden. It's like the map dude. on the back of the Declaration of Independence. You know? It's like it's there. So many, uh, yeah. It's a like JCCCC. If anybody in the future ever watches the <laughs> Jewish Community Center, no. Community Center. Oh, here they have that too. But in in Kansas City, or I guess it's in Johnson County, whatever. It's same area. Is JCCC is like Johnson County Community College. JCCCCs, triple Cs. But anyway, yeah, you gotta have those Cs, bro. Grab onto them, get Dude. your knowledge. So you went, and you went originally for the degree. You got, like, tell yeah. me about your college times. Oh, so I for some just like I wanted to go to film school. I decided, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so I went to Montana State, but mm -hmm. then I just did not enjoy like living in a small town in Montana. Right. So then I went to Chicago. Do you feel like you were getting anything out of the school in Montana? Oh, no, Montana? the school in Montana was way fucking better. Than the one in oh, yeah. Chicago. Okay. Because the, cool, the school in Montana, they, like, it was only 48 people in this, like, program, mm -hmm. which was really nice because, like, film is all about working with people and everything like mm -hmm. that, whereas the school in Chicago was just, like, huge. You feel alienated because yeah. there's too many people almost. And we had less, like, actual tenured professors, and most of them were just, like, adjunct professors. Who were people that like worked in film but weren't currently working? Mm -hmm. So they weren't really great at like teaching because mm -hmm. you can do so something, what you, but you're not great what were at you teaching. Learning yeah, as far as film, exactly. What kind of film? Oh, line? just kind of just. Uh, was your like what was your like direction? editing? Are we talking about film? Film? Or are we talking about digital? I'm talking about like. We're like, 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 like screwing mostly digital. Mostly okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I shot so, like on some like you know. Film. Okay. You're on this realm with this guy. Super I was just wondering stuff, what but... you what you did in it, like, cause I mean it's not that hard. Oh no. You know. Not at all. Did you like, like doing? Some photography did you like stuff too? Yeah, it was, so I mean it was fun. That. It was a good time. You're um. Can you, Larry, bring up his Instagram actually? And I want to bring this up because you're so, like, you don't tag anyone, you don't whatever, but you have this very slight Instagram, but I love yours because you have these candid shots of everybody around you that nobody realizes that you're taking. It's a fun vibe. And it really encompasses the night sometime where I'm like, this is, these are my friends and they're real element. You know, like, you can see them on podcasts, whatever, whatever, but it's hard to encompass somebody's, like, energy within a photo, and I think you have a knack for that. So now it makes sense that, obviously, you studied that in a sense, I guess. I mean, I like um, Yeah, see, like, there's like, Tyler and Amanda, bathroom stall. Can they see it yet? Yeah. yeah, Trip up there. I like that one, Trip and Tyler. On all of us, I love that Trip's looking up. This one of William and Angel is great. The cheat, oh, my God. So William found the Amanda picture on the left. William had 
you had these cheese puffs, but that is not a cheese puff. That is just a clump of the cheese powder. Wagon cheese. Yeah. I, got, I found that in a bag of Cheetos one time. Just nothing but that. And I Did was like, you taste it? So, no. Fuck why no. not? Dude? My, <laughs> so my you idea. You have special powers. Don't you want to see God? Yeah, right? <laughs> I was <laughs> hoping. X-Men training. Yeah. 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 X-Men training. I was hoping that maybe we would just save it for like sprinkle, uh, sprinkle on some mac and cheese for extra. But then, but then William, hold on about the, mac, the thing. William then ends up uh, snorting lines of the Cheeto yeah. powder. Multiple times during this night. Does William do? William does not do cocaine. Drugs? No, uh, he's no. never done wow. cocaine. He, he doesn't. Shit, though, right? Like he clowns yeah. around, but he doesn't. It's... You know, get the white. Well, he he has, does white face. Well do he does white face, <laughs> but not. Drugs. Yeah, <laughs> he's a white it's a face, but no. Slope, man. Yeah, slippery. No white nose. It used to be back in the day. It was Advil and yeah. Adderall. <laughs> Three months from now, he's just going to be, like, shooting up. <laughs> shooting up shooting. Never should have touched that cheese stuff, man. It was so good. Damn. <laughs> What's this? Uh, oh, yeah, they What's tagged. It? That's still there. That was graffiti that was at, uh, outside the church in Old Town. Because you work at Old Town. Mm -hmm. yep. There's me on the left and yeah, JBM. Yeah, that wall. There's Tyler doing some things. And That's you do it, and you're taking pictures in like a Polaroid look, which is yeah, kind of cool. it, and Unless nobody. That's just your class. There's song. Megan and Amanda, and um, nobody notices that these are being taken. Um, ever is there oh, the chest? Wait, can you do the chest bump one? Which one is it? Can we play? So Amanda is the girlfriend. Go down. No, Ian, Ty, and her. Which one is it that the chest bump happens? Which one? Go down a little more, or up? I mean. Uh, so it's either up or it's down, a, dude. Like scroll no, up, one down. down? Scroll yeah. down. What's up or down? Go down. down. Like more, di like like down. Down on the page. Yeah, Maybe down. Either one of those. One. I'm just gonna go like this. No, 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 no. Go back. You were on the thing for I'm a while. Like, I'm going like here. Stop. <laughs> up. Go up. Go up. Go up. One more. Which one is oh, down? One. This is one? that one? one. It's a so. video. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I can't play it, so. Oh, oh you can't go. play it? Oh, yeah. Okay, so Amanda asked to get chest butt by Intai. Hold on, they can't see it. Let me move this up. Oh, yeah, restart that if you can. Thank you, Larry. I appreciate you. But yeah, Amanda is here. She's so tiny. I, I and love, Amanda's like 5'1 and 5'2. I love maybe. how I say I'm going to do something, then you repeat it. Larry, could you do that? That's awesome. I just, I'm trying to confirm verbally that we're doing this. Okay. Come on, Video. Michael Vick. Michael Vick. Where is that guy? Where is he in? In his house. In William's Tyler? house. Yeah, let's see. Right. Ready? One. Two. We're funded forever. <laughs> he knocked Amanda down. <laughs> It was the cutest. They did it twice, and I think that was the second time. It was fun. Man, that's so cute. She's like me, though. She is white passing. Um, we will be okay in the, the race nice. wars, I think. Have you ever taken pictures of her and tried to darken her up? Mm -hmm. Just to make her look Mexican? I had an ex I mean, that did that. Really? Me. Yeah, her boy. So I was like, her her how does that, that benefit me? Well, he, I don't know. That's what her ex Am I trying to show off? I'm trying to, to find out, like, because I'm well, being Mexican too, and I don't do that. I've so. brought yeah. this up a couple of times, but you guys met, and you've studied film and photography. He said, and I get the gradients and whatever, he said because he was mixed. When, because I'm so pale, it made him look darker and me look whiter. So he had to even it out. So he would make himself almost look a shade lighter, and he would make me like three times darker. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't. I, I don't should do start that. doing that. Like that post that yeah. was. Oh, why well, I don't want to scare my mom. No, like the post <laughs> of me. If anybody got like, <laughs> who's this darker one? Yeah, who's this dark woman. <laughs> Amanda went to Mexico. <laughs> okay, okay. Every like every picture we post together, my mom's gonna call and be like, "There's someone in that photo robbing you." I think. Yeah, you know? Robbie being robbed. Rob you're being robbed. Yeah, we don't we don't need that. <laughs> I yeah, think I should darken myself. The so picture, if you guys you. had followed me on my Instagram, that got fucking hacked. Um, <laughs> going to that for a minute. The post that they posted about me trying to do Bitcoin, that photo was me being tanned up. Like that photo of me, because I was like, you look great. Your look, teeth look so white. I was like, yeah, because also white in my teeth in it, and then would like darken me. So it looks like Ross in Friends in that one episode where he gets too tan, <laughs> and then he like teeth whitens and like is At least they use black like a light. good photo i mean it, yeah but it was fake because i felt like i was catfishing people because i'm not that brown um i ain't j-lo brown 
or gold. Well, Have you ever gotten any darker? I think we talked about. Dude, that. I go in the sun. This I'm not wearing makeup today. This is as you dark. You look Arab. This is as, I get that I get look Leban- Lebanese people and Jewish people always think I'm part of them. I'm not wearing makeup today, but I've been at petroglyphs out in the sun for the last three days. Today I went running again. I've gone out running and hiking, and bowl some days for the last like <laughs> eight days. Yesterday I did eight miles at Petroglyphs. Uh, today I did a two mile hike with BBA after I did like two miles with William at like the park, and then I did nine miles between hiking and running on Saturday. So I'm I'm out in the sun every fucking day, and I don't even put sunscreen on, and this is how dark I get. That's the see what happens story. when I ask you a question. A tangent. Oh yeah, well. It's not Carla. You asked the question. Carla <laughs> B answers <laughs> questions to Saint. It's Carla B. It's somebody Carla out B there might. Carla allowed. B talks about her whole fucking day yeah. and how she went out wrong. It's hey, like, also, Carla B is going to no. get straight to the point. Here's no, it's Carla the point. B. Out Here's loud. the point. <laughs> it's go outside more. The sun is good for you. Get vitamin D if you're tan. Sometimes just be fine with that. I'm just fucking. <laughs> That's why I think out loud. That's exactly what my dad was like. It's named this. Don't ask me questions. Um, okay. Ooh, do you know what I want to do now? Damn. Turn on your mic, Larry, before you Smoke roast bowls me. and make silence? Yeah, exactly. Um, hey, Robert. What's up? Something else in the mind. Like, okay. Do you recognize what this item is? Was that a nail clipper? It is. Um, I'm holding up a nail clipper for any just audio. That, are you having sex tonight or something? With a woman? No, mine are oh, that's, short. That's, that's how I, you know. So I, I keep mine short because <laughs> I went to massage therapy school, and you don't know when somebody's going to ask for, like, a $20 massage, and then also ladies. Anyway, but what do you, you don't. It's like, a, it's like, is there a massage therapist in the house? <laughs> Someone, please. Please be a massage therapist. Oh, I hate you. <sighs> we need a pedicure now. This girl's going to prom. <laughs> um so i'm gonna do so rob we, i'm i've talked about wanting to do fear things on here before and seeing how people react to things uh, rob can you tell us i come robert robert whatever rob Eister. what is your phobia or fear or aversion can you tell anybody listening oh i just don't like stuff with like fingernails any fingernail stuff? Like in a movie if there's fingernail stuff not into that movie if somebody you, yeah explain what like, anytime people get like their fingernails like ripped out or anything. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's awesome. Seeing people, yeah, not for me. Oh, you mean like bamboos underneath the fingernails? Yeah, and... not not a fan of that. <laughs> not, not, kind of barbaric. Yeah, um, a little bit, a little barbaric. Yeah, I mean, there's no line, but maybe maybe that for me. So you don't clip your nails? No, I clip my nails. Well, does that sound bother you? No, because I'm doing it like to myself. You know. Does other people clipping? Bother you? So not really. Were Does you biting a, nails were you bother you? It's just like that, like that nails? clicking sound sometimes with nails. Yeah, like that sound. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of weird. Is it yeah. Make you feel, what are you feeling? Like the, it's just you know, like very uncomfortable. Wait, I, I have know. a wait. I have a test. There's Can like, you like turn the, the other of, way? Like knowing that there's a huntsman spider somewhere. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. What do you feel like in your body when it happens? Like, do you get hot? Like, do you feel cold, hotter, anything? No, you does know, your stomach just, feel weird? This is fucking torture. This is <laughs> no. I want to. We talked about doing fear things. Tortures or, out loud. I went to I went to an aquarium. I want to see how he do. Like, just so I, I'm not gonna go too far, but I do have one other thing. Does that, this bother you? <laughs> no, I do have one thing. I, yeah, I have a test. Do you know how people oh. like on Halloween? They'll be like, "Hey, reach your hand in the bag," and what is it? They're like, "It's eyeballs." It's like grapes peeled, and so I want this, but the eye version. The, it makes sense to me. Go ahead. So if you can turn that way and almost close your eyes, I'm going to ask you which one you think. So, okay. Here's what I'm going to do. This I'm going to do. Out. No, it is. is like, there supposed to be a waiver I have, before I have, this podcast? I have <laughs> utensils here. Actually, before you turn. So one of them is like a clicking of a, a pencil. One is clicking of a pen. Yeah, that one is that would that was clicking finger yeah. now, and one is just. Oh, I bet you that one. really bothers you—the teeth yeah. and the fingernails. This one, the fingernails. people biting their nails. Okay, now turn around and tell me which is which. What is... <laughs> okay, 
I'm doing a different order this time, ready? Carla V makes noises out loud. All right, it is Carla V makes noises, ready? <laughs> you at home can play along too. If you're commenting, you can comment right away this is your prison. as I do this. <laughs> okay, which one's this? Like Stanford do not, prison experiment. Do not a look. It's the best. Do not look. Okay, close your eyes. Make it. Is that is that that's the pen? Yep. Good job. Okay. What's this one? Is that the finger now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what's this one? Oh, that's a pencil. Oh, you're really good at sounds. <laughs> See, I've been hearing them all my life. What's this one? I'm really like, bad at doing this. What's this one? I've got a shit ton of practice. Well, that, I mean, it has to I know. be like. Sorry, you have like two strands. I mean, right? well, you already said two, so that was. Oh, was that the that was the, the clicker? clicker? See, yeah. the clip. See, he didn't even know. Well, I, they I both made me feel out. uncomfortable because they were. How nervous. uncomfortable? Like, what is it happening in your body? We're talking some, you know, we're talking fears here, people, and how to know when you sense a fear, whether it's mental or physical, and what happens to your body. Real, I'm being oh. real. Studied this shit. <laughs> So your yeah. body felt hot, or you feel... Just like prickly, you know? Oh. Like that pins and needles feeling all over. Does your stomach, anything you happen? Old... No. Sorry. You, don't get, you don't get angry? I, not really. No. When I hear people eat out loud, I want to slit their throats. Oh, do you have, like, oh, no. misophonia? Yeah, really misophonia. Bad. My sister, Geneva, can even attest, like, I've gotten... Really bad. I've gotten like, better. Like, be like, will you shut the fuck up? Even in my chair, I keep hearing. I have it just when I realize we both have it. We're like quiet noise. I'm like, do you hear that? I was like, yeah, nobody else like, hears this. What? But I'm trying to chill out on it because even Geneva before, like my sister would be like, N would it want to eat around me? Because <laughs> it like made me uncomfortable. No, because it made me un disgusting. No, it made me uncomfortable to hear other people eat. So she knew that about me, and she didn't really want to eat around me. Before we moved in, before he moved in with me, he asked me. What do you mean we moved in? Yes, you did. Mm. You yeah, I said, do you eat loudly? Yes. At least you know your, you know yeah. what you need. I was like, oh. Yeah, it's important. <laughs> <laughs> how do you know though? Yeah. Um, yep, yep. Are you eating with your fucking mouth open? Like how many people yeah. are saying they're like, oh, I'm a loud eater? Like who fesses up to that? I eat. I have anxiety eating around people because of that. Because I yeah. don't want to be annoying, so I chew weird, and then I don't enjoy the food. And I don't actually taste it. Um, and I don't want to hear them eating. Like, I have some joke I've been trying yes. to work out about, like, soup. Like, oh, there's a joke in there. When so people hard. eat soup, especially, out. if you eat soup on a first date with me on a m main course, like, it's just, it's, it's, it's like gross. A... No, for somebody, for me to hear somebody else be like, <laughs> like, it's just like, ugh. It makes I, me. I hate it. It's, violently angry it, to the point where I would want to punch them. There's been exes that I almost broke up with just because of the way they ate. Like, everything else is great. I have left, a, like, dinner mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and i'm not dealing with this shit i'm not dealing in with the you middle of a business meeting. yeah i've left in the middle of a business meeting some dude eating a fucking pizza yep. with braces that mm -hmm. oh braces pizza i had to leave because i was just gonna <laughs> go over the table and attack him well, I I guess. <laughs> yeah I oh i, I love it. that oh thank you for letting me torture you oh that's a yeah i mean you and Caleb Mulkey are probably the I only like, two that I've put anything yeah. through because Caleb, I like push on his ears and things. Just because oh, yeah, they're easy. The last one, yeah. on they're just easy so to do. A, and, um, you're she likes to do the fear factor. Thing, I just right? like to know Ooh. what happened because everybody, like, certain things happen in your body and you start to sense it. And if you can mentally be aware of that, then you can kind of change your reaction to things. Nope. Because even, though, no, you can. Because even the misophonia, I can kind of, like, just shut it out at points or, like, understand, like, okay, this is, everything's okay. Like, this won't last forever. Like, everything's, like, fine. Like, I can think about and p calm my body down before it gets to this, like, intense, like, level and needing to, like, Yeah, but you're, the, you have a fear of fish. He doesn't have a fear of <laughs> Yeah, it makes me Dude, who people. was saying last night? Was and it I'm you that said like, we wanted to do mushrooms to go to the aquarium? No, I was like, I'm no, thank you. No, thank you. And no, no, she should be in the fucking thing. Like, I would, that's gonna be so uh, fun. I wouldn't... I, mm, fish just they have the around. adult night? Eric Aquarium. What is that? Did you fuck the fish? Yeah, where'd you get the aquarium? What is that? An orgy? Yeah, you're fucking, fucking fish. fish. <laughs> the adult man. Yeah, yeah, wild night that. bass. Swing that tail. Mm. Now I know where the sea turtle Everybody wears so like mermaid things. 
Mm-hmm. Do you wear just like mermaid, like those like? No, you know where they thing? have alcohol and shit. You can fucking look at the fish. That's dope. We yeah. should. Let's go drink and look at Do you want to see me have like multiple anxiety attacks and like have? I mean, guys? after this whole experience, I'm good. Maybe he didn't think I was. Bit. Yeah, he we, didn't we understand. It. And yeah, I was. I thought I was doing pretty well for a while, and then we went to the underground little tunnel area, and I had to sit down and like I had to put my head down. I was like, and then after that, I did I did put my hand on the glass, and I was proud of myself, but it was very like. I are haven't. You, are you afraid of anything like besides that fingernails, no, phobias? No, dying alone. I don't know. Oh my god! It's so. Like dying alone. Heights, what do you mean? I dying guess? alone. Yeah, I don't like heights a lot. That's what do you true. mean dying alone? I'm like masturbating and also. <laughs> yeah, no one finds your body, and then when they do, like you're just your skeleton is still like there where you, they know exactly what you were doing. Well, you like. I don't know, it's pretty hard not Your to find somebody, I guess. You, you know? Not nowadays. Oh, Pompeii <laughs> situations? That would be bad. Pompeii? Yeah. Like, what do you mean? Like, just like, volcano? Like, instantaneous uh, okay. volcano death? No, that would, that would be good. Instant I mean, it's, a, it's a way to go. That would be kind of badass, like, actually. I would be down for that. I just don't want to be in an embarrassing position yeah. when I get instant volcanoed and then have them <laughs> dig up my body, like, thousands of years, and I'm in a museum just, like, pooping. No, I get it. I, I, for a while, was like, I have to keep my house and apartment clean all the time just in case I sporadically die and they come and judge me for anything. I was just like, no weird things. No weird. Dude, I didn't have like a sex toy for the longest time because I thought, what if I just like sporadically die and or like whatever, and somebody find like my dad has to clean out my shit and see my vibrator. Like I'm not gonna do this. But have you heard of siblings and shit like a? Brother or sister has died and they've gone into their phone their and deleted the shit. And Dude, got rid that of all too is a phone sex shit. So you better have a conversation with Geneva. Oh, um. Do you guys have <clears> a phone <throat> hacked? Like, so yeah, my my Instagram was hacked, and there might be some videos from an ex ex that I stopped even looking at that he was sending me of him and his girlfriend and his dick and stuff. And then there might be a couple of boob from here ups of me, or like from here, maybe not full face. That I've sent people way back in the day on Instagram, but really, and I said on the stage the other day, just random people on Instagram. Just no, 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 like, like no, just like guys, boyfriend. like dudes I was seeing or, or like whatever. Said, hey, see no, me. like dudes I was like seeing. Like, or like this right. post said you pick. Yeah, and it was just yeah. So uh, those are there, but there was that guy that maybe I talked about, and I did on stage of who it was old dude who sent me him like, like basically humping a canvas with paint on his penis. And then he sent me another video, yeah, on Instagram. These are somewhere in my, and I kept them because I was like, would show people, like, it's real. And then he also, what was another one? There were a lot of photos of him, like, doing things with his, painting his penis. Oh, minute. there was Wait, one him just painting There's not his, just one? There were three videos or four, and one him just painting it's, his it's penis. It's an art project, Him painting know? his like penis. His medium. And doing, like, around the penis, you know, like, tracing it like you would your fingers. Um, Did he make a turkey? Yeah, I said that in a joke the other day that somebody helped me on the tag with that new guy, Amelia, the turkey hand. It was like that, but with cock. Uh-huh. Were these unsolicited? Uh, yes, unsolicited. I don't know the person. Um, so and just then, out of nowhere, some yeah, some dude, wow. and huh. it was weird. And he's old, I've and he's like an artist. Like I mean, but would cool he? I would almost kind of rather get that than just a dick pic because that's like. Yeah, and he artistic. had one where he was using his, his dick as the paintbrush. That's kind of so beautiful. there was like one humping, one tracing and painting, and then one like using it as a paintbrush. And it was, it was kind of impressive, but like he's not my type, so I was like, nah, bro, I'm good. Um, but it was he wasn't married. That's what. <laughs> I have to pee so bad, but I still want to talk to you for at least another bit. Uh, of course you do. What? I have to pee? Yeah. I, I drink a lot, lot more water. You're too. already drunk, too. I mean, I got a buzz and a high, and I'm tired as fuck, and I haven't eaten too much lately because I'm exercising and dieting. She's ran up a bunch of stairs. Today. Dude, I ran so many stairs. Like, so Will even stairs. saw me like scale this like dirt hill where it's like a my feet were sinking, but I was just like. Hill. <sighs> fucking fucking running up that. I did something. <laughs> I'd be exploring. I've done. Uh, I haven't energy. clocked it, but I've done minimum four miles every day, but up to nine miles a few of the days. So Damn. it's like. I'm also exhausted, but also I love talking to you, but I have to pee. So um, I almost want Amanda to come talk to me about dating a comedian. 
Could she fill into my spot for two seconds and talk about being... Okay, so set up really quick. I'm going to... No. Don't shake your head, Larry. No, keep the mic on. No, she's going to sit here. No, no, no. I've got to turn the mic on. No, but I'm gonna put a setup to this because there is a story. There's a reason why I'm doing this, not just because of that. Everybody in town, we love Robert, but everybody also knows a man that's being the best comedy girlfriend, like partner, around. She shows up to everything. She's so supportive. Also, she's done some comedy and it's very hilarious. And she's just one of my favorite people. And she's also somebody that all the comedians just go to to tell their life stories to and like get therapy for. So I just want a man to sit here for a couple of seconds while I go pee and thank you and talk about with Robert, like what it's like dating a You're comedian. You're going pee your pants oh, if you don't geez. fucking. Yeah. It's not that bad. I can hold it for a long time. I do road trips. <laughs> I've got a Gatorade bottle around. I could have done that, I guess. So it fucking sucks <laughs> dating a comedian. Hey, it's, it's not that bad. Why it's not too bad. Yeah. Why, why does it suck? Um, just like your uh, weird sex things that happen in the bedroom is like what? out on stage. Oh yeah, of course. And I get yeah, a little embarrassed. Like I never thought I had like. You well, know, don't go. Whenever I like do blowjobs and stuff, I thought I was like really cute and fun, but I'm aggressive. Apparently. And it hurts, probably. And it hurts? I, t I use too much teeth, maybe? I know, it's more of like emotional. Let me know. I don't know. <laughs> it's, not, it's, it's not that bad. <laughs> Just personal Everything's stuff. Fine. I think it's a therapy session. What did you think through. was going to happen? You do, are, were you not a fan of comedy before? No, I love comedy. Well, then you should know what's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Every comedian talks about their life. That's what, that's what, their that's what it's about. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. If look not, at, you're just making Look at Tom about... Segura and Christina Pazinski. Those oh, guys. Oh, yeah. That's, those guys are wild. Yeah. And that's a weird thing, two comedians being together. That's like a train wreck. Oh, it yeah. It is, yeah. But they like make Natasha it work. Natasha Bedingfield. They've been uh, together like 17 dude. fucking years, forever. Yeah. Like, way before oh. I even knew. I know it's like a, a couple's therapy session whenever he goes on stage. That's why I always go because I'm like. Do you I ever have you had any arguments about any of his bits that he's talked about? No, 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 no. You're just mm -hmm. like get sad and cry. Or... No, no, I get sad and cry when he doesn't clean the toilet or the bathroom. Well, I normally like bounce like the that. jokes off you too. You know? Yeah, it's yeah. true. Yeah. yeah, I think I'm pretty good. I don't at just that. you know do a bunch of stuff on stage if I don't kind of <laughs> run it by first. <laughs> So I don't want to feel don't like, lie. Oh. Don't lie. You're testing stuff. I mean, sometimes I do. Yeah. Sometimes I do. Do you go to all of his sets? Yeah, I try Pretty to. Pretty much. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Um, everybody thinks, like, you know, I go and it's a pain, but I actually like everybody that goes. I like all the comedians. I love, they're like my friend, my best friends. That's right. awesome. Um, Robert is the type of comedian that, that can, uh, <laughs> look at this. Move it back, dude. Move the thing back, thing back. There you go, buddy. 33 um, episodes. Yeah, 33 episodes. I'm so glad to be Last happy. one. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, no, um, what I'm saying is Robert seems to be the type of comedian that he doesn't have a set set. Yeah. He has jokes that he might use yeah. over again, but there's always something new in Every the time. set. Always Every time. something new, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. never been like a thing. Right. So, and like, that's good because there's a lot of comedians that are using the same fucking jokes they've used for... For years. Years. Yeah. I mean, I understand fucking if you go job. out of town. And <laughs> I understand if you go out of town and, let's say, because um, you, you haven't used those jokes out there, using an old one, that's cool. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> but... Because you're not established comedian yet, but if you were established, you'd have to burn it in a year, you know, I like write everybody else does. New but new you jokes new for, jokes all no, the I time. I write new yeah. jokes for every open mic I and go to. And that's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. It's awesome. Says, it's, yeah. hard, it's hard to be in a relationship with him, too, because he's really good at arguing. Oh, like of course. he's such a logical minded that's person that's me yeah I'm, I'm a way better arguer than I plus I just make Carla. jokes about everything so and he it's not he funny like, to uh, argue my dog yeah. died and he had like a whole set about it and I was like well that's just that's yeah. hilarious I had a solid five on the death <laughs> of that hurts. dog yeah. oh man I wish would have heard that, that. Yeah, all jokes went to heaven on that day <laughs> <laughs> like, what? that's, that's uh, and I'm sure you love the dog didn't you 
I loved it. I love my I love my dead dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> it's no, fucking hated it. <laughs> yeah. He hated it. He just like whenever <laughs> like my grandpa died, he would just make fucking jokes about my grandpa dying, and I was like, this is so fucking because dark. that you but know that's hilarious. That's I need where, this. I need this that, in my life. That's where the comedic mind goes all the time. Like, yeah, and I need it. I it's really need constantly it. Constantly, you're thinking of what's funny. I'm mm. not even a comedian, and I fucking do it constantly. Yeah, constantly. I really need it. I do need. I'm that. always thinking of what the angle will be of funniness mm-hmm. just for no reason at all just out yeah. of pure because it's funny yeah. that's great yeah. a lot of i people. think it's funny patty sometimes doesn't it. think some of the jokes i say are funny but <laughs> <laughs> i hate it i hate it but it's good it's good for me in most ways like with my depression i, I feel like i have a, a lot of anxiety and he gets me through that and some like i have anxiety of driving and then when I drive with him, I feel a little, like, comfortable, but he f- almost... Uh, when I drive with her, I do not feel comfortable. <laughs> oh, I don't feel comfortable either. <laughs> Terrified. With any woman. That's... Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Very <laughs> capable women. <laughs> Very. No, we're not. <laughs> capable <laughs> women drive. Yeah. That's and Will else. Smith's state of mind right there, you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor William. Well, poor oh, William. That's so sad. I would, mm. I would do that for you. I'd slap someone if they talked. I mean, about I don't want you to slap Chris Rock. But okay? if you wanted me to, I would. I never slap someone for a joke either. Of course not. That's, I don't do that. No, you don't that's do that's that. Nice. Obviously, I love William uh, William Smith, mm-hmm. but I feel like, honestly, I think I feel he was in the if wrong. If you're fucking William Smith and you've created <laughs> such fucking classics as Wild Wild West, Getting Jiggy with It, Miami. And you don't choose to respond to that with a dope diss track. You're not the William Smith that I fell in love with. No. And you can move back to fucking Philadelphia. No, yeah, where you were born and raised. Yeah. <laughs> and go back to your life at gang violence and basketball games that go awry. Yeah, exactly. Just, I hope he, he's a better person after this. Well, I'm, I sure, I'm, I'm sure you, you know. I don't think he's going to change. I think he's going to change. How long have you, to to you guys been together? F- s- f- Five years. Five years, sorry. Well, see there. She's you, but get over it. Like, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's really you're already over it. Like, it, I talked the to first him about year, like everything. Like, the my... first year would have probably been the roughest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I, I mean, was... people have had shorter prison time. I never really things. was, I actually never was attracted to him when I first saw him or met him. Yeah, because he looks like a Simpson character, <laughs> Ralph Wiggum. <laughs> and you know, he came to the back of the bus. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good guy. So, what attracted you is the funny. It is smart, yeah. Yeah, it's see? Yeah. yeah. Women love that shit, dude. Love Us, it. we look right at the tits. Yeah. <laughs> tits and ass. We're like, ah. Oh. Uh, that's true. They're just pretty big. Yeah. Yeah. And also, if their family owns any land. You know? <laughs> yeah, some landowners. <laughs> land yeah. tracks that's of true. land. That's true. My family does own some land. A large inheritance, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> You're on this fucking medieval kid. Do you have any gold? <laughs> can we go to medieval times? That's what I want to know. Do you have enough money that we go to medieval times? <laughs> That'd be fucking awesome. Because I want to go. Maybe a Renaissance fair. <laughs> The one yeah. in Colorado is super nice. You guys are going. You'll find out. Yeah, we'll you'll, find you'll find out. Yeah. You're gonna. I'm just so excited <laughs> for the moment when you walk out of that parking lot and get to the permanent structure that looks like By a my castle. Custom and you're just leather like, that everybody else has. You're just like fucking Rob was right. <laughs> yeah. This is a magical time. Rob is always right. <laughs> it's no, never gonna get better the, than this. <laughs> he'll enjoy the wings I, with their tits out. Yeah. Dude, that's true. He loves, yeah. It was a real fetishy time, apparently. Yeah, it's a weird fetish. People were into tits. (laughs) So, so guys like the tits and the ladies like the jokes. Hey, this is Carla. But I got the tits and the jokes. Why are they scared of me? Because you're too, you're you're intimidating and smart and beautiful, and you need to know your, know your, your your tits are too funny. Even when I'm thin, I still have like big shoulders and hips. What is she talking about? She's got like three guys. I know. I was gonna say. That's true. I'm just saying in the past, like being a comedian, like something. You're collecting married men. Trevor Trove of married men. Dude. A Trevor Trove. Treasure Trove. Damn. All right. Aww, a treasure. Tra- no, thank you. <laughs> appreciate it. Nice seeing you, Amanda. Nice seeing you. <laughs> Yay. For the record, I was peeing and not pooping. Um, yeah, it took forever, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> 
No, we'll she never was, know. Uh, she was definitely pooping and she was definitely using a bidet in there. <laughs> it was. <laughs> it's, it's in the other one. <laughs> she was, maybe like she finally figured out how to use it. It was just like, no, it is. It's, it's magical. It felt really good, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I had to stay in there for You'll a while. You have dual bidets. It was so fresh awesome. and so clean. clean. That's, That's how you know you've made it. it. <laughs> That's how you know you're in love. Not a dirty butthole to be found. Oh, man. I'm so stoked that Manly came on here, really, and I threw you on it, but like you guys really are. I will say this separately and together, great people. And in the comedy scene, everybody's like equally, <laughs> we all equally love you guys. And it's never like, oh, man is here because then I guess Robert's here. Or it's never like, Robert's here, oh, I guess man is here. We're like, yeah, we love them both. So I appreciate you. You're like, you're a comedy she said that lady. about the last couple too. I'm oh. Oh, no, man. they're a great couple, but these she guys. She says that about every couple, doesn't everybody. she? Yeah. No, nah, but Ian doesn't go to every set. Man is like there all the time, and I mean, but I also you just have a really great heart, and no, yeah. it's cool that you can that you sucking it up, you're letting him do his thing. She like yeah. Patty lets me do my thing. Mm -hmm. There's no drama. I don't mm -hmm. have to fucking worry about how she's gonna fucking feel when I come home. Like, you know, yeah. it's very relieving for a man when you have yes. a woman like that. I'm oh, yeah. sorry. It yeah. is. Oh, it's great. Because I don't have to worry about, like, her thing, like, not wanting like, to when go you out home? and do why are you, and stuff. Why is it 2 yeah, o'clock in the morning? Uh, I thought the fucking show oh, ended yeah. at 12. Like, yeah. I don't want to hear this shit. There's been times. I've dated people that were like, you should try to be an accountant or some shit. Yeah, like, and it's like, no. I don't want to do that. I want to do comedy. Yeah. So to have someone and I'm good at it. So go for what that takes. And fucking so good at it. But yeah, yeah. that's the best. Right? Yeah. yeah, and she understands all of that. It, that's what you need. And she comes to the show too. Men appreciate. Men appreciate. Yeah. Well, a good man will appreciate And she understands. That. Yeah, a good man will appreciate. And a man that appreciates a good comedian. And, you know, she doesn't take offense or take things personally in any way. And a lot of people's partners, even mm -hmm. the roast battles, There's they can't watch. People don't. can't watch some of the roast battles if their partner's in it because they, like, get so upset if I either would, they if lose or whatever. And, whatever. And, and you understand, like, it's all comedy. You know, even if people mm -hmm. roast you or you guys as a couple or whatever, you've never been mad at people for any of that. Like, it's all comedy. Um, speaking of comedy, do you have anything coming up, Robert? Potentially. I don't have, like, <laughs> actual <laughs> dates for stuff yet. Potentially. Oh, I'm, I'm not closing I'm, up. I'm just I'm saying... I'm in the face with that. No, he has these shows coming up. I, I want people to go see you because you're oh, so like, funny. And Amanda will be there. And you can meet Amanda. Yeah. I'm running yeah. a show at Outpost Brewing in Old Town. Okay. So I'm doing that on the 13th of April. April. Is and it... Then, do you know who's on the show yet? Yes. So it's going to be Steph Darnell, nice. Zach Abeda, Trip Stalinski, and uh, Kate Anella. <laughs> Okay, so great. I mean, I love all these people. And Trip, now we have Trip from uh, Santa Fe. Trip Stilnecki. Trip Stilnecki. Did they call him Stilnecki? Stilnecki. Trip Stilnecki. He, um, um, and speaking of uh, roast battles, I was going to mention that. We have 420, April 20th. We have the roast battles. You're in it, right? So I think kind I'm of. just roasting Zach on that. Yeah, because you and Trip were battling the last time. Mm -hmm. And then the next one is... I don't do you understand what's happening as far as like there's gonna be a roast for Zach Abeda and then yeah so they're doing and then what are we doing? I, from what I understood is some Does, people are do you guys roasting. Know? Um, when you were in the roast battle, were you in the beginning or after the intermission? You're he was right? after. Was I after? You were like second to last yeah. battle, I think, yeah, or I think one so. of the last. Yeah. I remember seeing that, um, like the lineup. But you uh, you'll be on it again. But so I some people. Some people, though, are going to be, um, I guess, roasting Zachabetha, and some will be roasting each other. Zach, yes. Right so it's going to be people roasting each other, and then we're yeah. going to be roasting Zachabetha. No. Because yes, I don't, yeah, him. I'm not doing, like, a roast battle, but I am roasting You're roasting Zach. Zach. Okay. I don't know what I'm I doing. I guess. I don't. Well, they let us, they're going to let us know in a couple of days. But, yeah, 420 roast battles. Um, yeah, Red Duel, Red Gorilla, there's a show coming up. April 8th, I think, that Ian Ty Jamerson's putting on, I'll be on. Uh, for, oh, this Friday. Are you on First Fridays? Yes. Oh, I'm this Friday. First Friday. First Fridays. First Fridays. It's free at Tractor Brewing, Wells Park. I was going to come there and film and see if... I don't know you if should. Russell Rutherford would want me to do it. No, he, he would be fine yeah. with it. He would no, be fine. I don't think he would. I'll, I'll ask him. Oh, we'll vouch here. for you. We all will vouch. Like he, if not, we'll go on strike. No, yeah, it'll be fine. Like, we're um, not fucking going up. No. Like, I've been so working like, in a lot of different shit, like national park shit and like be Mexican shit and like trying to mix that together. And, so. You know, working on different different chunk, no squirting jokes or hippo jokes in this one. Um, 
It's all the same. They're all wet, right? Um, <laughs> uh, so we're, we're going to watch something here? Or? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's watch uh, Rob yeah. on the... On so the get roasted again? Oh, no. Yeah, you roasted so the last time. It's not. No, it's a different. Really not. It's a totally different breed. Um, it was my first time. It even felt different. Like I talked to Trip the day before about things, and like, like because mm. you're not talking about yourself. You're talking about the other person. Yeah, it's, it's a weird. weird you know? But it's. I like that you roasted yourself along with him and Trip his first roast battle. Like he ended up having to roast, roast himself, himself because Edward. Was like not doing that good was job. She was like, "All right, well, if you're not gonna roast me, oh, I, guess I will." And I then Trip, Trip is our new. Um, he'll be on here probably, hopefully, in the next month. Uh, we're trying to schedule something, but he came from Santa Fe to us, and now he lives here. And I feel like we, uh, yeah, traded for him on a baseball team or something, and we got their best player. Because he, and no offense to Santa other Santa Fe, we didn't trade anything to them, whatever. But so we, we got, got him for free. I yeah. think we that's got what, one weird. of their yeah. best. What's that called? The franchise? It's a franchise. Can something, we trade something someone to Santa Fe? Flag yeah. move. There's something in football where you can do that. Who would we trade to Jamar? <laughs> Let's trade. <laughs> Troy to Santa Fe. Oh my God, Jamar for boot camp in Santa Fe. But no, Trip is amazing. Um, well, you guys are both. And when I saw this battle lineup, I was like, you guys have those very smart brains. Burger King instead. <laughs> you look terrible, Robert. Robert looks like Harry Potter was in the hospital for three months. <laughs> I don't know what age Robert is supposed to be. Like Robert, Robert, Robert either looks okay for fifty or very, very bad for twenty. Like he's somewhere in his thirties, but he still looks like a deadbeat high school student, and also a deadbeat high school student's deadbeat dad. Like Robert's the only person I've ever met who still might get carded at a liquor store and also needs. He just went not stop you. Like it's one, and then you do it. To the he other told one. me he said if they don't stop you, just keep going. He told me that the night before. He's like, just okay. keep going. Yeah. They don't stop you. There's no yeah. rule. Trip. Like Miracle with mayonnaise, just being on stage wondering who's tangier. That's what we're doing right here. Like Trip, Trip just moved, like recently moved from Santa Fe to Albuquerque. So I got bad news for you guys. Gentrification's happening. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> That's so good. We're here. Robert, uh, Robert works at a winery, uh, which makes sense because he looks like if a hangover came to life. <laughs> Troop's got yeah. some good ones. Robert too. has the body idea. type of a body that you find. <laughs> face down in the Keep woods. Oh. I mean, except a body that you find face down in the woods has probably been fucked more recently. That, that uh, was fucking. He told me that day before. I was like, please fuck that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I knew Troop would have a lot to say. And Chip has a lot of jokes. Like, Chip keeps going with the jokes. Just keeps talking with the jokes, going with the jokes. So I think we need to give it up tonight to the true, he like, hero in this room. And that's Anna, Chip's girlfriend. The most talked over woman in Albuquerque. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, but see, you were, you were doing uh, one and done. He was doing one, like, one, 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 
Robert's Lucky Charms. They're after Robert on the waiting list for a new liver. That's another alcoholism joke. <laughs> that didn't make sense because you're... And that was the battle. Much. Good job, fellas. You know, <laughs> your liver would be fucked, so why would you want your liver? Oh, oh I think I have to be on the list to get a new liver. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to get a liver. And then I thought you were on the list to give the liver to him. Uh, no, no, you want not just no, no, <laughs> yeah, that was not. Pretty sure the intention there was like someone after me is gonna die because I'm getting the liver. Look at me, how dare I? I feel bad. I feel so bad that I have like organ donor in the back of my license because they're not gonna want shit. Like from a drinking and not as heavily anymore, but like from that to overdosing on pills so many times in the back in the day, fucking up my whole insides, having I mean, charcoal and all these things to like. Yeah, no. You had getting... the charcoal thing. You had to puke with the charcoal. Oh yeah, and I was oh, pooping wow. out for a while. Yeah, I was in a coma for like a week, and then I like yeah. came out of it. Was puking charcoal. I was pooping it, and then the cops came and got me and took me to the mental hospital because I tried to kill myself. And that's illegal in Kansas to try to kill yourself. So, so I had to that's go. That's illegal in most states. Actually. Yeah, most states. Yeah. Yeah, it is. So weird, yeah, right? I did all the charcoal shit. Um, the states hate when you don't follow through. Right. <laughs> <laughs> How dare don't you change. attempt something? What? How dare you cry for help? <laughs> yeah. So what? You live in Kansas. <laughs> Why wouldn't you love it? Do you know that you I, should be Jay Bird. Do you know that in Kansas you don't have to have a massage therapy license to do massage therapy there? Really? Oh, that's weird. We have so many massage therapy places here in Albuquerque, yeah, though. It's the, like six and five. Yeah, yeah there, I almost because I was like two months from <laughs> graduating. All, are, now let's be. Do you think all of them are reputable? No. No. Did you ever read oh. that article? Yeah. They're like five per square mile, and a lot of them just have oh bunk beds in the back. And it's a bunch of ladies that are just going through, like... I have a story about just that. Just traveling but... around. So and Mostly Seattle. in shipping containers, you know? Yeah, the shipping containers. Uh, somebody recently, I won't blow the cover or say the joke, but somebody was recently was just... And part of the joke was naming all the massage therapy places in town. There's, like, over 100. And yeah. that was, like, part of their set was just, like... Da, da, da. I was, like, oh, my God. That, it was so funny. It was, you know, like, that how it's, like... Okay, you're still going. Oh my god, you're still going. It's hilarious. Like that digging into the ground and resurrecting it. Do you shit. know any guys that go to those? Because they, yeah, there's yeah. so many opened up. There's got to be guys. People going, have I know, right? I know, yeah. I know, dude. I've never done it. Like, I've had a friend that did it one time after a strip club because we were at a strip club. And he's like, man, let's go. I want to go over to that massage place. And I was like, go ahead, but I'm not fucking going in. Fuck that. See, you guys should do a Carla V. Things Out Loud at a massage place. That'd be awesome. While she's getting massaged. Do you getting know? Massage. Well, well, you know, just have the guest be getting massaged. You as know, well. I went yeah. to massage therapy. And then she wants too. Then, she, then she needs to ask for a happy. happy I also ending. have a table. Yeah. I've only That's given innovative podcasting yes. I've only given one to two happy endings but they weren't on the table technically and that's not I wasn't in school and wasn't certified at the time but I did go to school I still have a table so if anybody wants that massages one, that nobody jizz on like is that, it's no, that nobody jizz on it I was ending. fully clothed it was just right after the massage maybe we made out and things started to come what up the but then fuck? we moved but then we moved to the bedroom and I cleaned it up so if you need a massage oh this is I at your like, house yeah just like somebody's oh, house See, I thought that's you were question. working at a no, massage no, no, place no 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 no, 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 Does no. every like any massage no, that ends in ejaculation make it a happy like, ending? Even or does it have to be like on the table to make it a Dude. happy ending? Is it? I don't know. Uh, but when I seen yeah, the guy, my friend that walked out line. of that room, a, that he looked very fun. victimized. <laughs> I'm sure it's not a fun time. No, she, uh, she. He said that she put so much lotion on his dick that. He was like, oh, yeah, they she say was swimming in lotion. He's all, dude, I've got lotion like in the crack of my ass. <laughs> like, it smelled like flowers the whole way home from Seattle, dude. It was oh. fucking. Ugh. Plus, just I was, like, I was that laughing that the whole time too. Thousand years. And he's like, don't tell anybody, but dude, and I've told this fucking story at like a hundred million times. Like everybody I see, like did I ever tell you about the time? Like, yeah, Lotion flying. Did he say Jer like Jeremy Thomas is the one who Jeremy Thomas got jacked got off, jacked off with too much lotion. He much would. Lotion. He has two first names. Fuck him. Yeah. Can't. Oh wait, you do too. Yep, but so but but Jamie is spelled different. Yeah. Not to out. I mean. Jaime. I'm just kidding. I don't know. Jaime. Jaime. I'm one of those pale Mexicans, you know. Uh, yeah, like me and Amanda. You guys saw Amanda. You guys saw. I love that you guys. I love that the viewers, if you're watching on YouTube, got to see Amanda and see that we're equally pale. Like, you probably didn't have to do any color correcting. Yeah. I'm Tanner this week, but like, we're the pale Mexicans. Yeah, we're waving that. Um, we're undercover. We're just like there Amanda's... to see how much shit people are talking about us. Amanda's hat makes her look like a pale Peruvian, I think. A pale Oh, yeah. Like, she is. 
does. Yeah, it's a very macho. She does kind of look like, like Emperor's new group. Like yeah. Argentinian. Right? She does. Yeah. yeah. She's kind of South American, like Argentinian or something. Well, looking. what was that animal that David Spade played in that movie? A llama. Uh, llama. llama. Yeah. Or yeah, a llama. A pack of llama. That was actually a good movie. Um, it's a fantastic film. <laughs> you know, full of joy and adventure. <laughs> I love that movie. Young boy changes into a llama. And learns a lot about himself at yeah. the same time. Learns humility. <laughs> mm-hmm. And that's the funny... That's you know? it. That's and it. if that's what it takes... There's just a lot. I wish someone had turned me that. into a llama a long time ago. It's just yeah. a lot about learning. Man, maybe maybe I, you are. Maybe I'd be in a better place. Yeah. Um, oh, I have one more topic before we wrap things in a way. I just want to share because this threw me off this week, and I know you've seen the documentary about the vow, the Nexium cult. Yeah. You know these people, Larry. The Nexium cult that have is like the newest cult, and they seem like this business class where we try to better people in their mind. Talking about that sex cult that that bitch got, like the, they were celebrities, like that yeah, chick yeah, yeah, from yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So that happened. I've seen a couple of documentaries, but they're very were you short. A part of it? Were you a part no. of the sex cult? No, I no. was like but one. She day, allowed it to happen. I was almost. I was too. <laughs> hold up. So she didn't do anything to so stop it. So. I started finally watching. Like I've watched shorter versions, and I finally started watching the vow, and they started talking about like their philosophies and the program. And how it's called ESP, and it stood for like Sucked executive right processing. In. No, in 2012, I was listening. I was living in Tucson. Was in a mental hospital, and there was this like tech lady that worked there. It was kind of just like. A volunteer and talked to me about this program she was in told me to watch the movie what the bleep do we know which the guy who directed and wrote that was in that cult right after he did that i watched that and then she started giving me packets and then i went to two seminars with her and we talked about esp and all these things and then they were like two after two they're like we want seven five hundred dollars in payments if you need to continue doing this and i was like i'm too broke to be in a cult and i'm very happy about that because even watching the documentary, you know like, what? I'm not no, susceptible you... to shit, but watching even the documentary, I was like, oh, these are very great ideas. And I was like, Carl, no, you're watching a cold documentary. You know like, what shut up. Off? Don't get drawn into you their right philosophies. Like, I thought it was just, well, <laughs> it was so fucked. But yeah, in 2012, it's the only thing that I, I want to get in my storage unit uh, this week because I have proof in there, I think, unless I threw it away, of packets they gave me for these seminars. So. You know you were almost sex trafficked. I was almost sex trafficked and branded. And they you branded them. You had to pay for it. Oh, they wanted like so much money from me. I was like, dude, I just came out of the mental hospital. What are you talking about? I'm like 26. That's where they on? get them. Like, that's really it was bad. Um, they pick them up just right outside the mental right, hospital. Yeah. Right, come with us. Then make them watch What the Bleep Do We Know. Give yeah, they, that was bucks. like my first homework and things. She's like, write notes down and then we'll go to the seminar. And dude, here's movie. this other thing. And I was like, and then you want to put off. your fingers inside. Her name was Angela. <laughs> she would kind of looked a little polyamorous. Just kidding. She was a little tattooed. She kind of looked like a suicide girl in a way, but like grown was, up, like uh, 45. She was like, a she was like 45, but like businessy. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> she like modeled, but didn't kill herself. Like, um, she's one of those suicide swingers. girl. <laughs> so anyway, how do you feel about the vow? Would you have been sucked into that? May I don't think. I mean, if they're making you watch What the Bleep Do We Know, probably fun. not. No, because, like, it's all about quantum physics I and love, everything. I know, and I always like, talk about quantum physics. Multiple realities. Mm-hmm. But the main character that they follow through the entire thing is that deaf actress who's, like, what's her name? Oh, ma- 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 Mary. Mary. Ma- yeah. Something. You know who she is. She was in Sci-Fi, she was, right? Yeah, and then yeah. she also she was the she was fucking, American. She was the she, tennis. She was just, but yeah. she also won, like, oh, some, um, like, she God won a pageant election. too, didn't she? No, she won an Academy Award for God. Of but did it? Children oh, of yeah. Lesser God. Of Lesser God. Yeah. But wasn't she also like a pageant winner of like some American? Like, well, anyway, of the Deaf America. Or something? No, first like Deaf Miss USA pageant or something. No, I don't. Think I, don't so. I promise. Anyway, she had Down syndrome. Mary, I don't know. She was just deaf, but then she gets to see all these but other then she realities, got but in none of them can she hear. Like, it's, it's a weird. gateway syndrome. Yeah, it's a gateway syndrome. <laughs> it's a weird syndrome. Movie. Um. <laughs> So anyway, like so the next thing uh, yeah, they were pretty convincing to me in a sense. And then, uh, yeah, anyway, Carlo almost joined the cult, and I always judge shit. And then the guy we were talking on here recently, oh, Marley. What? Marley Matlin. Marley Matlin, Marley who's that? Matlin, yeah. Who's Marley? She's the That's deaf the actress. Oh, the, that yes. That's what I was saying. Well, remember I was saying Mama Marley? Yeah. yeah. Because I knew it was an M. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I just, like, heard her as a deaf person. I was reading her lips because I was deaf as a kid. I'm just like, Mama Marley? <laughs> 
I was like, I feel you. I, I can't yeah. hear you, you but mean, I can feel you. Mean, you. Is... <laughs> oh, that's fun. Yeah, I yeah, I was just deaf. They didn't teach me sign language. They were like, just read lips and like feel. They people. were just like, learn how to hear, and then you <laughs> did. And so yeah. good, good for you. I manifested hearing through the Only force. Mary and Thank you, Geneva. Level of commitment. <laughs> like, just really good. At... You have such a passive ish energy and funny, but I, so does my sister, who is also named Geneva, which is the weirdest fucking thing because Switzerland is doing all this shit now. Does she ever sleep with people? Like, Carla. welcome to the Geneva. Convention. Geneva, Carla, Sarah. Sarah's she, so boring. Sarah's she a got, firecracker. She got the exotic name, and you got the... I, Sarah got the... the Down No. Sarah got the Matt name. I got the better name of the... I got the medium hey, name. But who's a Victoria's Secret angel now? <laughs> our, the Down Syndrome name. The Down Syndrome chick, yeah. Mm. Oh, Marley Matt? I'm just kidding. Marley Matt. She sounds... Be- I mean, never mind. You mean Marley Matt? <laughs> The Down syndrome and the deaf song. Okay, um, two things I want to wrap up. Else for we're gonna talk about. I can't remember. Is a uh, couple things I want to wrap up too of like, um, why were you in China? We never got to that. Why did he go for the first? Yeah, place? he said his dad was an engineer. Yeah, but you end up going back to teach there, right? Yeah, because then my sister. Yeah, went he there went in four college. times. So I want to know why. Wow, because my sister lived there for like five years, mm-hmm. and that's where she met her husband, and then moved to Australia. Was he Chinese? Mm-hmm. Nah, he was in Australia. Er, he's from Australia, and he was in China, basically oh. training Chinese people to take his jab. Oh wow! Oh. Like oh. They were, his company was like outsourcing, and they were like, right, "Go right. train these people, and then come back to Australia, and you won't have a jab." But you know, huh. yeah, like well, he Mexicans found taking job, jobs. Sure. Yeah, he's doing all right. You yeah. know, <laughs> they're doing Australia stuff. Australia and swinging boomerangs, but swinging you got, boomerangs, why? playing the didge, playing the didge, the didge. The didge. <laughs> you guys will come out here and play the didge. Can you do an Australian accent? I'm not gonna. Hey, you, I can do were, a British accent. When you were in Australia, did you catch the Australian accent by yeah. accident? Not really. It's the funny because my sister says Madonna. it just on like certain words, right? So, yep. Which are fun, and she does like says like boomerang. Certain, yeah, it's like, oh, throw it out of the boomer. <laughs> the boomer. Shrimp and scat. You guys want to go through a bit? There's your, there's your it, bobbies on the shrimp. Hey, I heard, I heard chicks there are just fucking nuts, like, as far as extremely aggressive sexually. I don't. I wouldn't know. Well, I, don't know. I heard that about England <laughs> too. I heard about that. Well, I literally, I wouldn't know. Probably. Maybe. Did you not have you sex in know? Australia? No. Why? How old were you? I mean, I was like... 25. No What's wrong sex? with you? How long were you there? Maybe because you look too up. much of an well, Australian. No, it wasn't exotic I, for him. Fucking, I oh, look. yeah, you do look Australian. <laughs> you might look more Australian than American. Well, I was also just living at my like, sister's house. You know? Oh, okay. Yeah. You didn't get no it's Australian funny. pussy? None. God. None at all. No China pussy? No China pussy? No China pussy? <laughs> I like how all of us said it. You no. couldn't hear Patty, but she no, asked no. you. What is wrong? That's the whole reason to go to a different place. I know, no, I've never. Maybe he wasn't funny I mean, back God then. God damn. Carla V makes you feel bad out loud. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not trying to, like, no, dick it's... shame you, but. No, I, I, my <laughs> dick is shame. Dick I'm very shamed by. I was just you know? asking if he'd bagged it. I never, like, it. thought about well, it, but my dick my dick's, sad. like, I've been to all these places and never, you know? Weird. Did huh. you. Uh, Wait, how old were you? How old were you in uh, Australia? Oh, yeah. Like six months. Okay. Um, that might not Wait, be why did you to... get kicked out? Yeah, six months, you can't oh. meet enough people. Small town. Because yeah. I just got like real drunk <laughs> one night and got in a fight with my sister. And then when they were like, you're going to wake up the baby, I was like, I'll give a fuck about your baby. <laughs> And they're like, you can't take care of the baby anymore. And then, uh, they kicked me out of the house. Oh, yeah. You, the you bad were the, uncle. Uncle Buck. You were the yeah, nanny dude. for the baby scene. I don't give a fuck about your yeah, baby. I don't give a fuck about that baby. Okay. It's amazing. But it's okay. That baby's doing great, I think. Uh, how, you were 24 back then. That was like 10 years ago. So he's a teenager. Well, no, he's like seven. So I would have been 24. A little bit older than that. I don't know how time works. Mm-hmm. I don't either. It would have been like five years mm-hmm. ago that I was in Australia. Because you came Six from show. Australia to here. Well, I came from Australia and then lived in Rio Doso for a year. That's right. We, yeah. Why were you in Rio Doso? Because we didn't... We, I mean, I knew you were Because my there, parents but... live like kind of by Rio Doso. Okay. So I moved out of my parents... Because I lived with my parents for a little bit when I first moved back and then moved to Rio Doso for a year. Rio Doso is rad. It's the only place I've ever skied and yeah. only place I've ever gambled. Rio Doso is the shit. I love Rio Doso. It's we went beautiful. There, we went there one time and I was like, so this good. is fucking New Mexico? Like, right? there's other... 
That Air Beauty. That, that's so better than Santa Fe. The, what the fuck? Have you been to Cloudcroft? It's the same kind of, but even more like this wild mountainy. Like my grandparents' are cabin is around that area of the Rio Dosa to Cloudcroft. It's yeah, beautiful up there. It was from Alamogordo. Nice it was 20 minutes to Cloudcroft and 45 minutes to Rio Dosa, and I'd go up there a lot, just like hang out. Or, like We went there because trip. I wanted to go see all the, you know, go the Billy the Kid shit. Like right oh, yeah, there. Lincoln. Like, and yeah, I wanted to go to, we went to Lincoln. Like, I'm all went into the that. Western shit, you know? I'm into that, yeah. And uh, stood where fucking he shot that dude, you know? Um, but we went to, we stayed in Rio Doso, and I was like, where the fuck has this place been? Like, nobody nobody ever talks about this place. Yeah. Everybody talks about fucking Santa Fe. Mm -hmm. and, oh, yeah. No, Rio Doso's uh, magical. Dirt hole. Little it's down. Like it's Santa Fe's a dirt fucking hole, dude. I'm fucking, People, I'm not a fan of Santa Fe. <sighs> I'm not there, and actually, man, the and Robert's girlfriend is from sort of. All the artsy farts and fucks up there. Oh, it. they're so pretentious. Like, Amanda's from Santa Fe. All houses look the exact same, dude. Yeah. Well, Everybody they can't tan. build anything different. Though, yeah, like, you must fit in with the scenery. Mm -hmm. Even in parts of Rio Rancho, where my dad lives, they have like four colors they can paint their house. I don't ever it. want to live in a place that doesn't allow architectural diversity. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> gross. That's, yeah, that's goddamn architectural architectural diversity. <laughs> is where it's at. Uh, exactly. So funny. <laughs> Yeah. Architectural racist. Well, if you want nothing but browns, you get out of my towns. You know? yes. <laughs> when it comes yes. to the paint color of houses, yes, yeah, me. just the color of houses, just oh those. Just those. It's so good. Okay. Um, what else were you gonna talk about? I think that might be around. How do you feel? Do I mean, you have anything you want to share? I yeah. Oh, I just can't even like um, bottle up or share even how much I appreciate you and Amanda and. All the, you know, we talk about the garage, but really even past the garage, there are about like eight to ten of us that, you know, we really helped each other through like mentally and just creatively Have you through talked the pandemic. To and, Fletcher at all? Yeah, I appreciate you guys. Yeah, no Kurt Fletcher. Okay. I was on his podcast. Nice. Yeah, he mm. was recently. Uh, during the pandemic, you were on it. Yeah. Were you on again when he's doing Simpsons? No, I have not. He's I doing a Simpsons. I don't you, know Simpsons. You like Simpsons. Well. You I don't like Simpsons. No, I just uh, remember Simpsons, the Simpsons yeah, character same. that looked like. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. around That's, about, yeah, remember, as we talked about in the beginning. Yeah. 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 No, I just appreciate um, you guys so much. Do you ever plan on going on the road? Because I, I could like totally to, yeah. see you Dude. as a road guy. He's no, I would so love funny. To go on the road. So that's you need to get. Um, You're so funny. I think that's my next kind of step I need to take is try to go. Have you been networking at all, like as far as? I mean, not as much as I need to be, you know. Yeah, you should start networking more, man. Cause Cause especially with Kurt. Kurt knows people. Oh, yeah, Kurt's yeah, with Kurt, with a lot of people here. Kurt. There's so many people here right now that want to, that are here that have done so much as comedians in other cities and around the country, but are here now doing a lot, but also wanting to foster the people wanting to do the things they've done and help us out, and that's amazing. And comedians, as much as it is like a solo fucking art, we, I mean, if you're a nice person and go to meeting, whatever, See, you kind of... from a woman. No, but you kind of want to, like, even here in the scene, we've talked about how close the scene is here and how, like, supportive and weird yeah, and amazing good, it is. because you can't do a show just yourself, like, every single mm -hmm. fucking time. You have to rely on people and become, like, yeah. close, and you end up caring about people in, like, a deeper, like, man, not even about the show, it's, like, outside of that, so... Yeah, like Man said, we've become all like best friends, and that's great. And it's not like, oh, I'm gonna maybe stay here forever, but it's been so amazing. Yeah, and no, they're cool. friends that I'm, I'll call up even if I move somewhere else. I love you guys. Um, have the blood oath, you know? So right. yeah, we're gonna mm -hmm. do, do a wrap up song as I put in my. I, mean, I feel like I don't know. I felt like I was star tracking something. Like I was gonna do something. I was like, what put is my, that? And what the fuck is? Put I my arms up. I, I thought that was, like, was a crystal mm -hmm. around your neck. Mm -hmm. No, it's like a tiny tap. It's like my aunt made it, but also is that it's one like of your um, sex toys that you carry around. Dude, does it, I was gonna say, doesn't it look like a mini like a, tickler a mini like bondage whip? Yeah, like like it's just like a bondage on the go. Ball tickler. It's bondage on the go that you can wear for fashion. Thank you, um, aunt, so so godmother. I need to know, like, because yes. I ask you this every episode. Um, how's it going with the married dude and the? Oh, we need yeah, a. Yeah, how's the married dude going? Capo. How's the married dude going? How's brewing and marriage going? Yeah, um, <laughs> and then how, are those houses no, wrecked the, yet? Or yeah, like, is the foundation still there? She's totally like, I guess the wife is like fine with it. Yeah, yeah no you know, you've met both of them. Yeah. The wife's fine when Kyra comes around, though. Yeah, we've yeah. hung out at the garage together, all of us. Um, don't turn on the mic, I'm gonna because okay. it's like has adjusted to the temperature, so I think it's a retune. Um, so we'll catch up. Um, I have not seen Mary Dude because of uh. A, 
I won't dispel. There's something happened, not within their family, but like a death in the family kind of thing. So I haven't seen him two weeks, but we've been, you know, texting and keeping up, each other updated. Uh, next week we're going on a hike Ooh. on Wednesday, I believe. Uh, probably tramway. Um, and then, magic hike. So that's Dude, like infidelity's better when it's in nature. I think. What? I'm married. <laughs> that's the best thing. Oh, is this the married guy or the other guy? Yeah, the no, it's the married guy. guy. I thought so. Okay. What? Yeah, what about the nice no, guy? No, yeah, we're well, talking about that too. Yeah, so nice guy's still happening. Well, okay, and good. how does he feel about you dating married guy? Uh, he, know? he kind of knows, but he, he doesn't also know, does he? No, he knows. That's he one of the first things guys. I told him. He doesn't know, dude. dude. That's one of the first guys. things I told him. We were talking about like nice our dating guy. things because he's getting out of a relationship where like the ex cheated and whatever, mm-hmm. whatever. And I told him like, um, you know, I don't want to put pressure on you. I know you're fresh out of a relationship, and it's this whole thing baby mama situation but i'll be around he said i do want you to be around like whatever so yeah, he wants pussy. yeah what a nice guy and i've been around him and i think he like there's women that flirt with him and this and that and i, I mm, not about him exactly but about being a female comedian again is like even when you're in a relationship or doing whatever if you're trying to network with somebody after a mic to a male comedian the person that's interested in you thinks that you're like flirting with them or something and gets weird and i'm like no they're just an out-of-town comedian that i'm trying to like network and help out because if i was in a different who, city who was doing that this guy the nice guy bartet a little bit maybe i'm was reading the room but no, no you got that no, no, you're reading it right no it really was that where he seemed kind of like and and then you know like other things that aren't red flags but me just observing things of like this is how to interact with this person we all have baggage we're in our late 30s and like i oh, really like being around him and we get along really well but i'm <laughs> i am you know i like him i'm not also i don't think we're gonna be like you know relationshipy and so maybe you're... i'm open to still relationshipy but i'm also like but riding like... the wave and just like I'm always observant. It's never judgmental. I'm always just like observing the world and be like, I guess this is how I interact and these people interact. Just going with it, huh? It's right in the way. So let me ask you a question there, Rob. Uh, Are you into that shit? Like sharing and (laughs) nah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, no. I just so like like, say if your your Amanda came to you and said, Hey, dude, you know, I really wanna, you know, try new things with new guys she's shaking her head fiercely fiercely yeah i can um, feel it um i feel like yeah we're i'm not, not really into like it into that i'm not into it bro like you know i just can't and there's nothing wrong with anybody that does but i just don't understand well i feel like amanda and i like it's hard enough like to have one stable relationship so they try to have multiple relationships. Like, that seems like a lot of fucking work. That fuck, I just I've had don't multiple do. chicks. Oh, yeah. um, it's so much work. to keep track no, of. No, yeah, I don't like the work of that. I don't have two That's jobs. why I like the. Yeah, but see, for a girl, there's no work that she just shows up with her tits and. No, it's not even that. Like most of the time, like right. guys, she guys now are so picky, and they're tits, like, right? "Oh, I'm picky," and everybody's like, "Oh, the <laughs> next one, the next one." They don't really care about you half the time. They're like, "Hey, right now this is fine," but in my head, I'm looking at what's next, and so I don't latch on emotionally for a while because I know that things are fleeting so much. I know. That... Maybe it's the people. But that even are... no, but I don't want that because I'm that way too. I think so. It's like I've I've gotten that from other people that I'm that way. So I'm like, well, then. I know that, I, I'm that... un- emotionally unavailable for like a real relationship right now, but I can have like a couple of casual or like, you know, I care about you as a really good friend. And it's not fuck buddies, but like this isn't going to be a forever type thing. It almost seems to me like all of these words and these jargons are just to make sure that everybody accepts it. Well, no, I think you know like, what I'm saying. Oh, like, sometimes, like, sometimes. oh, I'm polyamorous now. No, you're a fucking swinger. You're fucking other people. You guys, well, I just you know, think like everybody yeah, of our it parents' more generation. Sounds scientific than you. Yeah, it sounds more. Well, our parents are fucking sophisticated. Right. We're yeah. sophisticated. Feel like I'm an elf. Then like our parents are fuck fucking other people all the time and cheating. But like right. now, it, it's like you can just get away with it by saying polyamorous and fine. Yeah. But if you find people that link up that want to do that and still love you and just want to fuck other people, then it's like, all right, well, good on you. You well, found somebody who's in your niche. That's called a And with Polyamory, but with like, women too, like okay some women want to do it, some men want to do it, and they don't want to watch it. They just like, like I said, they want to know that you can feel things for other people, but really, that's your first bond and your main bond is with that person. It's like, yeah, but then, 
I'd be too worried that it's the like other... having different friends, like I said. Yeah, but I, me myself, I'm not. I wouldn't be worried, but I'd be wondering, like, is this bitch catching feelings for this dude? Oh. Like, like you know, oh, there's always the one. Like, no, you wonder that I too, get you. Right? No, like, I'm gonna this, say this is about Robert fucking like. Oh, is he a man that called yeah. me out yesterday on some shit? And even William about like, are you catching feelings for this nice bartender dude? The married guy and I, I like that because it's a very. Um, we have very is it great because it, is it exciting because no it no no exciting? it's not exciting it's comfortable it's exciting. no it's not ex <laughs> i don't know it's not, it doesn't turn me on because it's, me. it not at all turns me on because i'm like day to marry it 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 is comfortable to me because i know where the boundaries are and they're so straightforward of like you're married this is your amount and then again and then and i want to this is your amount of what you want to give we can only see each other maybe once a week i'm like cool i'm down like we don't have to do a relationship but when we're around each other it's quality time and we respect each other and i only have to text him like maybe is twice that how he feels or is that how no he yeah feels? we even talked about texting that we said that he respects you yeah we both said that if in this way we literally the last time we hung out he was saying so many people are flaky and just ghosting each other and he was like i'll be excited about somebody and they'll be like into me and i never hear from them He's like, so I hope you know that I respect you to this point that if I was, like, not wanting to talk to you more, I would let you know and be, like, real with you. I was like, same. Like, I will let you know. He's like, but I don't text all the time. It's not going to be an everyday thing, and I don't want you to feel bad. I was like, no, I don't either. I was like, that's, you know me. I'm like, right. I'm not. You're so the twice. Worst. She is literally two the to three worst times. person to text with. I just, it gives me anxiety <laughs> to just have to be attached with everybody all the time. It's like, I just need to be like, uh, and um and then I'm just I mean I'm trying to get better and with you I've tried to get better responding at least in text but with him you know we don't give each other shit if we respond like one text a day like hey you text this day and next day I respond to that and next day you respond to that and I want to reiterate that I completely respect your lifestyle thank you and I it's just it's I'm comfortable very, with him you're I'm interested very, I'm, and I'm, I'm like not interested interest. well I'm interested. not interested in wanting to do it right I'm I'm fascinated with <laughs> yeah. the whole that thing, to me, I like you said, is more scientific. It makes me comfortable. Like me, we. I think you and I rationalize and like observe a lot. And like, I'm calling Robert out. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't no, see true. things. Yeah. I see a lot of gray areas. Never right and wrong. So you know, with the married dude, I'm like, yeah, we like put these ground rules down. The other nice guy, you know, I don't, I don't know yet, but I'm not, not at the point where like I need to know anything. I know we have a good friend connection. We have a lot in common. And he is in a hard place, but I'm around, and you know, yeah, like I, I Amanda was trying to call me out the other day, was like you're catching things? feelings. And I was like, maybe, but yeah, also there are other things. She's like, there's red flags. And I was like, but there's at this point, everybody has some sort of baggage or something, and you have to know how your things align with that. And are you okay with just deal? Not like saying beating you or anything, but little quirks or whatever. We're like. Oh, it makes them cute. Or you're like, you know, I can live with that. Instead of being like, oh, this is a big... Like, not everything has to be... You do realize time's running out, right? And I will say not everything has to be turned off because everybody's so on to... No, this is what, what I'm saying. Time? time is running time out. Time is running out. No, like, that's what I'm exactly every second agreeing. we sit here, time is running out. Oh, uh, so, no, I know we need to wrap No, no, not this. No, sense. no, time I'm alone. Sorry, I agree. Time in your life. No, yes. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to... You're wasting all this time. Married dudes and... No, that's what I'm saying. I don't want bullshit people because I'm not a place where I can have a relationship. So I'm not going to date somebody who can really have a full relationship right now because I couldn't give them that. And it would be unfair to them. So I know right now... How old are you? 36. But here's the thing also... To people out there, and it's not a sad thing. Like I can't have kids, and that actually made the clock slow down. Do you know if you could or not? I mean, has it been? Um, it's like has a, any a seventy just, to ninety like, percent. So they said <laughs> it's a seventy to ninety percent chance that I would die or the kid would die or both would die. And, and this is verified by a doctor. Yeah, like three wow. to four different doctors. Shit. Like you probably should not have kids. And I still didn't get my tubes out this year. But um, so actually, as a female this age, it slowed down the clock of like, hey, you know, I don't even have to have a marriage. Like nobody's trying to have kids with me, and I want to have both of the guys I'm seeing already have kids, and I don't know that they want more. So it's like perfect. I'm at that age where everybody's well, I think getting the married divorced. Guy's gonna have kids with his wife, right? Actually, they're both fixed. Oh wow! Oh, no yeah. kids at all. No kids at all. They have one. Oh no, they have one that's five, but um, oh, they're mm-hmm. fixed. And and I want fixed. to too. But that slows down they the clock. Like, I don't have pressure. Yeah. Like I don't got pressure yeah. anymore. Yeah. I don't have pressure about that stuff anymore. So that's like good. that slowed it down. Like because I was at some point around thirty, thirty one, being, like, do I have to feel like I have to have kids? Huh? Well, I'm just talking about like 
not being alone. Do like, you, you know? Oh, no, I have a Mexican. I have so many, like, my cousin's kids will take care of me, and my nephews and nieces, my aunt, everybody will, fu- like, we are yeah, a die in our, we're a die in our house family. Like, do I own our house hospice family? But you don't have one person that you're emotionally connected to. Or that and, you've... But I may in my 50s, like I said, like, I feel like I'm a person, 50? if if I got married, I'd be, like, 60-something and be like, Baba, we just want to, like, be married for the thing of it and, and just he, rest together. Together and be like fine. Paddle off in his canoe to his. Yeah, we go hiking, and my dad's sixty four almost, like, and he's active and like. Yeah, he is. You know, and I, I'm like, I just want somebody to chill with in my old age, and right now is like, if I put anything to the universe of balance and whatever, you know, if I can't find like true, true, true love right now, I want to just go in the comedy direction of like work on that and like have that stuff and not have to like, worry too much about full relationship, and so. I'm adjusting to that now, but you know. Can you move that mic forward, please? Yeah, pa, pa, pa. So, Robert, <clears throat> something I love about Robert too is it's happened a few times. You can contest where people are talking around this, and we happen to stand can you next do me to each other. Favor, please, can you bend no, the mic this. down? This one? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna be turning towards it. Can you actually pull that slightly, like towards you? Like, Come on, Rob. Yeah, because I'm going to be turning a little bit towards you. I'm, I'm contributing. You even look like a fucking stagehand. Like, <laughs> yeah. You got a real stagehand vibe, dude. Stagehand vibe. Did you do theater? I did do theater. Yeah. And speech and debate. Yeah. I did debate, too, dude. in high school. Toastmasters, yeah. they called it. Oh, yeah. fun. fun time. Toastmasters? Yeah, that's what they called it in my high school. Yeah, Toastmasters. We had, we had humorous interpretation. So sometimes when we hang out and people are like talking, we're just like hanging and other people, we freestyle here and there, but mostly you and I will be quietly together doing that. So I'll find chords and I'm just going to do like a hook and maybe change it up. I need to move this mic. This one's like bothering me. Can you move your purse? What? So you can move the mic? That wasn't even on it. It was in the crevice. In the crevice. Yeah, in the crevice. Right in the Can crevice. you move that forward towards your right guitar, please? It's right. It needs to be near the but strings, bro. Help me. The hole. Put it in the hole. Put it says. in the hole, guys. Point it to the hole. Um, let me find some chords. I had one earlier that I thought of, and now I can't think. Oh, thank you there, Rob. I tried my best. That's a uh, stage right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, it would be stage oh, yeah, left yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's the, the direct, director's point of view. Bam. 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 Theater. That's stage left. Theater. That's stage right. Your yep. mom's stage center. Go. <laughs> 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 okay. What chords am I playing? What, what kind of vibe are we going for? So we're just going to wrap up. We're going to wrap about what you're going to wrap about what we talked about today. All right. Now I'm going to find some chords. Oh, and Amanda's going to be real embarrassed. <laughs> Appropriate some culture, guess. All right. Let me think. Let me think. Please. No, I hate this. Okay, that's, that's the last standoff. Yeah, there's a good standoff rap. Remember that part in Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, where they rap battled. <laughs> And he was like, Clarence has real nice oh, parents, yeah, but they all died from dystopia. <laughs> from the rickets. From the rickets. Everything I play is like jazzy or Mexican. Because you grew up on the range. You guys want my empire of dirt? <laughs> Put that shit on nice. She can't have a kid, but that's the one thing that she said she would never did or do. 
to once have a kid or two, some kids just hanging around. Tonight on Call of V, we covered quite a bit of ground. Talked about China, those times were finer. Talked about Australia, never will go back to the huntsman spiders. They're so big that they'll scare you. Oh, Robert, he's a traveling man. He's wrapping up cars. He's dating a pale ass Mexican. Oh, and Robert's rose battling, tripping. He's caring about all the things he did while he was in Australia. Bed, Colorado, Katy Perry, fuck ya. Carla V's podcast gets a little off the rails. Halfway through, she starts cutting her nails. Oh no, what then happens then? She starts wondering if you can tell the difference between a pencil and a pen. I don't flip, but she made me watch me get bitch slapped by trip. Over and over and over again. Yeah, I know that I lost. We don't need to watch it happen. Damn. This podcast was fun. I won't be sad, though, when it's done. Because when she was like, you're going to do some rapping, I was like, are you sure that's something that you really want to happen? <laughs> Seems misguided, but I don't care. It's, I can provide it. It's been fun hanging out. I want to give Larry a shout out. He's got his rapping skills He's got his girlfriend I don't know about you But he's someone I look up to And go see him His first Fridays at Track the Bruin For 2420 You can catch him at the Revel Slinging jokes about Zach Baker. He's not hating, you know. We're all family and we go, go, go to the garage. Also, like, hit me up if you want to go get pizza sometime. You know? I like getting lunch. I enjoy sandwiches. Sandwiches. I also enjoy, you know, Asian food. Some fun. Asian like it's fun. Food. So fun. You want to get a coffee and talk about the situation in Ukraine? Let's fucking do it. Oh, the war is terrifying. Oh. Didgeridoo. 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 won't. Didgeridoo. 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 Call it didgeridoos, call it didgeridoos, call it didgerid thanks. Larry, I don't see you didgeridoo. a stupid fucking instrument. <laughs> you guys didn't mention the Down syndrome, bitch. Oh, um. Uh, I mean. Yes. Down syndrome is now cool with Victoria's Secret, and I don't want to see her whole tit, but I'm interested a little bit in the cleavage. Weird guys in your basements, you are perverts now. Down syndrome, it's perplexing, but it's sexy now. Come into the sunlight, see your angel now. 
You might find it so perplexing, but Down syndrome's sexy now. They don't let women in Australia play didgeridoos. So you might be a Victoria's Secret angel, but you'll never play a didgeridoo. Wow, it's a didgeridoo. I wonder if there's any Down syndrome people that play the didgeridoo in Australia. <laughs> nah, dude, the Aboriginals typically just get rid of those. Oh! Yeah, is it, is it China, like is culture, it China you know? versus baby girl situation? Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Okay. It's like a Spartan warrior situation. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you so much. That was so I'm fun. I love the so <laughs> 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 That was a really fun one. Good. Uh, that was a good one. Well, fun. Good times. Yeah. All right. So, um, is that it? <laughs> yeah. Girl, so is that it? I have to pee. I just said <laughs> Okay, Robin has to pee. Oh. Uh, thank you so much. High five. Happy birthday. Love you, Amanda. Oh, love, you. love you. Oh, Patty, you're the best. Larry, you're the best. Thank you Thanks, for watching, Larry. everybody, in the past, future, present. Love you guys. Have a good night. Bye. Bye, guys. Alvaska's got me. Joking.